pick off in this micro light. We're going to climb to the top of the building three times, come back, and then start stop the stopwatch. So, where's my stopwatch? Bollocks. I've hit the, I've hit the right prop on the runway. Just go down, just touch it. There we go. Good. Oh, whoa. Am I alive? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where's the runway? There it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're gone. We're gone. That's what happens when you go below blue line speed in an engine failure. What is it? Hitch there. There you go. Top's coming up. Hold it level. Is it going to stall? Otherwise. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. It's too late. It's too late. Just don't stall and go into the water. Oh, my God. That is... Adding power. I don't think it'll... Oh, I missed it. Shit. <laughs> I fucking crashed. This looks really bad. Brace for impact. Ooh. Landing. Landing. I've got to try and stop this before the end. No, try not. Do or do not. Oh, thank God. Yoda, you are so wise. Nothing more will I teach you today. At last, I'm going to steal an airplane. Yeah. How are you? You okay? Yeah, can I have a look around? You can. Can I help you? Are these keys for assessors? There we go, nice simple start. In real life, when you're flying, you've got your life in your hands. So it's very, very important, obviously, to have the appropriate licensing, the appropriate training, including safety training, etc., etc. Whereas when you're at home in your flight simulator, there's no risk at all. Okay, she wouldn't even shake my hand at this point. It was going very, very badly, and I had probably made a fool of myself. But then it dawned on me the four magic words I have a jet. How long will we go fly with this ship? We'll oh, go, go, go around Rick a little bit. Oh no, but when we will change the plane, you know, for the private jet, what you told me, champagne. Oh yeah, uh, I lied. Hello, everybody, and uh, today is a very, very special video. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of the shout out competition. This next channel is called Reaction Review, and I've got to say, uh, for an X-Plane channel, uh, this guy is putting in a lot of work. All right, I'm going to hit subscribe on his channel, and you should as well. <laughs> up again I'm way too high and I've got to do the whole shot all over again which is fucking fantastic recording sound no where's rain where is king rain gone Bugger! this doesn't stop now I'll have to do this take all over again and I won't be happy I'll not be happy please stop please don't make me do this all over again it's late at night Please stop. We're driving it in a bit. Hold on, hold it up. Oh, I that one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing. And I'm way off the runway and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. Okay, I can't seem to fly this at all. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I've bust the gene in it. Um, okay, I don't feel very comfortable looking at this at all. I think we need something that can handle the force, the G-forces that are applied. I sense much fear in you. Oh God, he's back. I shouldn't have said force. How embarrassing. You know, the aircraft kept coming apart because it couldn't take the G-force. <laughs> You'll be laughing when I get this down without the force, Yoda. You are reckless. Maybe, but look what I'm going to fly. Mm. Oh, I'm too heavy. I need to drop those fuel tanks. Or two, see what you can do back there. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can, I can just about keep it. Oh, oh. Use the force. Oh, God. 
there'll be ones here as well. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Target. Of course now I'm doing floaty floaty. This is just not gonna do. Okay, you're gonna have to take the flaps up and drop the lift. Oh! Ooh. Okay, 140 knots. Hopefully I'll stop by the end of the runway, but I'm not too sure. Now, that seems to have done it. So, Yoda, what do you think? See through you, we can. That may be so, but the F-18 has a much higher G-Force tolerance. How can this be? It's G-Force, Yoda. Mm. Uh, it's nothing to do with your forces. Dangerous and disturbing, this force. Look, let, let's be quick about this. There's the dark side of the force, your side of the force, and G-Force. No. no. Women also have a G-Force, but nobody can find it. <laughs> Time for murder, death, kill. bombs will actually drop I've highlighted it for you oh it's Sam 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 how dare he interrupt my tutorial bombs away this is the fight belonging the front and back of formation to speak in the south he has the Gegner Zossen genommen and stößt auf Stahnsdorf vor with the Angriff Steiners and that all is in order my Führer Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiner war ein Befehl! Niederträchtige Treuer der Feind! Feiglinge! Verreicht ein Verzager! Sie ist ohne Ehre! Sie wird ersaufen in ihrem eigenen Blut! Yes, I don't like trains particularly. I don't like them, I just don't like trains. Must be something to do with this freak. <gasps> oh, this is brilliant. Don't... Oh no. I didn't get to train itself. Cheeky bastard. If it's the last thing I do... Oh, brilliant, now my engine's dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a kamikaze. I'm gonna shoot the bejesus out of him, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna take the two of us out at the same time. You're going down, you bastard! Yes, I gotta get you now! This is just humiliating. There we go, chop it all the power. Chop it all the power. Bollocks. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it. Power off, it's gonna bounce really hard. Ooh, bit of a bounce. Bit of a bounce. Now, it's not over yet. I've got to steer the aircraft and then reverse thrust. I'm using asymmetrical thrust again just to steer it. Don't go off the runway. I can't use reverses until I have it straight. Right, reverse. Oh, 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 bollock! That's sweet. That's, that's what that looks like. Brilliant. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, now I've had power and it's crashed. Brilliant. That's you, holding all over again. Fantastic. Reverse thrust on. Fuck. Oh, oh. Yeah, brilliant. And that's what happens. That's... That's... That's what happens. Oh, I don't believe it. Why won't this work? Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Now I have to do it all over again. It's got all the cameras. And 
Yeah, this is this is just fabulous. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yeah, let it roll out. No, oh, Yoda, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so mm. busy looking outside and ignore the instruments. Still looking to the horizon. Never hear that. I know, Yoda. All my attention was diverted to making a video. He did my words, not did you? I used reverse thrust, but the props out of sync. I failed. The greatest teacher failure is. Oh, you're just peddling easy answers. Pass on what you have learned. I've done it. Success. Hooray! A bit of a bouncy bouncy there, but everything's fine. I've organized it's all good. Okay, breaky breaky break. Oh, not too much breaking, not too much breaking. I have it all under control. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's fine. Bucker. This brings new meaning to ski slopes. Let's go. Sure, everyone's dead anyway. Surprise! I'm on. Uh, was that a few seconds early? Oh, I was a few seconds early. But who? What difference does it make? We're all here. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. Uh, you're all. You're all on. I hope you can hear my sound. Uh, I hope uh, the video is nice and smooth. Uh, and if the sound isn't good enough, you need to let me know. Nah, I'm trying to look for that nice radio voice. <laughs> yes, I have a new mic. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, today we're in Iceland, uh, and I'd like to say hello to everybody. Uh, greetings and welcome this Sunday. Uh, we have Deep Future, we have Baker at the minute, Skyhawk and Aerox. There's, there are more to come. Uh, I'd like to thank them, and I'd like to thank our new alien overlords. Uh, welcome to our planet, O oh, Ming the Merciless. Nanu, Nanu. Yes, <laughs> told you I was in a slightly odd mood. So yes, uh, I'm in the key. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm in... I'm in the, uh, I, I, mm, I am in the, uh, the, the, the Cessna Caravan. Yes, the Cessna Caravan. Now let's see if we can get this mic organized. The Cessna Caravan. Uh, because uh, I took the Cessna Caravan because, you know, we're not in America now. And there's not airfields all over the place. So I thought I'd play it safe uh, because this week I'm definitely going to pay attention to the fuel situation. So, yes, uh, I am. <clears throat> now, uh, just to read the comments very quickly. Who's first comment there? Oh, Deep Future was the first comment. Happy Sunday, all he says. Welcome, Deep Future. Akai Lad is with us. Aerox is with us. Davo says, good day. Uh, probably in the morning in Australia, isn't it? Uh, then uh, you're all saying hello to each other. Skyhawk is with us. Benny0685 is with us. Uh, who else there is with us on the chat? Uh... Mal John Wales is with us. Brilliant Benny's with us. Uh, 7H3 or M4L. Re that means something I know and I don't get it. I haven't got it. Oh dear. Oisk is with us. Uh, 6581. Greetings. 6581. Uh, who else is new there? Evo 5 is on. And Johnny F. I think I mentioned Johnny F already. And all of those of you who don't want to type ta typey typey in the chitty chatty. You just want to watch it. Well... Let's see what's going to happen today. We're going to start in Iceland. We're going to wing it as always. It's the only way to do it. Uh, I don't know much about the Cessna Caravan, but we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, and we're going to fly over Iceland with the new Orbex mesh. Let's see if they can do something right. Look, I had a quick look. I just installed it. I, I, I had a quick fly around with the, with the camera. It looks pretty good. I uh, have to be fair. And it's free. So yeah, that's a very good way to get people to look at your website, isn't it? Uh, and they do, they've got lots of good airports there. Now, uh, so yeah, we're going to fly around Iceland. Uh, it's Colonel Klink's flight plan. All hail Colonel Klink. Uh, sometimes I think he has something to do with our new alien overlords. You know, anyway, uh, that's another day's work. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Um, so yes, uh, now, uh, as usual, things go wrong. 
Uh, I don't mean it to go wrong all the time, but that's you know, that's it. that's what you, that's, that's what happens when you don't know your aircraft. You know. Uh, so let's have a quick read of the comments if I could see anything there. New mic sounds great. Evo Five says thank you very much, Evo. Uh, I hope it's not too close. Uh, sometimes I I watch the stream after till all hours of the night to see what the sound was like and etc etc not all of us but most of us uh and, and and sometimes it peaks let me just check this up peaking it sounds all you know uh i told you i'm learning with you guys if peaks it sounds all distorted if you speak too close to the mic and you're supposed to have it like this so you're not speaking right into it it's fascinating science it's it's people do it's there's a lot to it they do training and everything how to speak in cameras and if you take it from tv and how to hold the mic and oh man oh there's some beeps uh aerox oh wow aerox oh wow thank you aerox aerox i love it when how do you do that i want to learn how to do that it's shocking i know i should know these things by now uh aerox uh has resubscribed tier one for nine months in a row thank you so much and he says sounds good and clear brilliant uh, thank you so much. And then before Aerox, uh, Miss Mikakchuaklaka. That must be one of our alien overlords. Who knows? <laughs> uh, I know it means something, and I'm just not, get, I'm not getting it. Miss. Miss. Ka oh, darn. I can't pronounce it. But thank you, uh, Miss. Miss Klakalaka. I, when I see you flying around, I'll, I'll just call you Miss Kaka. I hope you don't mind, because I can't pronounce it. Uh, then uh, the Beach House. It's something I can pronounce. The Beach House is also with us. Greetings, the Beach House. Uh, delighted to, to have you with us. Two days ago, Butter uh, Gruppy uh, has followed. And uh, TTV uh, X followed. Six days ago, e Ewar and Colm. Or Colmin. Uh, and Captain Kamikaze. Of course, we remember Captain Kamikaze coming on that last week. Uh, big improvement in the Mike Davises. That's great. Typey Typey, just watching along tonight. Looking forward to seeing the new scenery. That's from Joey Mac Design. And this is our alien. Oh no, it's Colonel Clink. Sorry, like, sometimes. <laughs> Greetings, Colonel Clink. Greetings. How are we? I, I, I'm, I'm good. Uh, everyone seems in good form. Then we're all looking forward to you to, for you to join. Uh, there is theories that you are something to do with our new alien overlords. Absolutely. <laughs> I told you I was in a slightly odd mood. Uh, so how are you this week? Ah, it's not too bad. It's like, uh, um, unfortunately, it's Sunday. Well, it's fortunately and unfortunately. Fortunately, it's like because we're going to go and do some crazy madness. Uh, unfortunately, we have to work tomorrow. That sucks. But anyway. Well, the reason we're on the same is to cut all of that stuff out of our heads for the next two hours. What do you say? That's, that's, that's what I like about Simming Current Clink. You just shut off, isn't it? Yeah. You shut off, but then when you finish swimming, then you go, oh, I'm going to go to bed now. And, uh, you know. It's the Sunday blues because Monday's coming. Yeah, uh, sure. It's like, it could be, it, it, it could be, it could be worse. It, it could be much worse. Yeah. It could be working in the coal mines in East Africa or yeah. something. Uh, yes, it could be much worse, uh, as always. We must remember these things. Uh, it could Sorry. be much worse. We, could we can sit here healthily uh, and 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 look forward to whilst we're working, in in a possibly you know behind a desk and whatnot, yeah. and go when I get home, I can play flight sim. Yeah, it's like uh, it's 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 definitely better than working in the spice mines of Kessel. Yes, uh, I didn't like my stint in Kessel in the spice mines. I have to say, yeah, uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's 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 very depressing. <laughs> How did you remember that even? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to remember these spice mines. Of is that where Captain Kirk went? Uh, that no, that is... Uh, uh, I, I think that is uh, um, Star Wars. It's like... Uh, it is Star Wars. Doing it is the Castle uh, uh, Run in 12 Parsecs. Uh, yes, yes. Even yes. Though, oh, even, we must do that one day. Even though it's like a Parsec is a measurement of distance, not a measurement of speed. Really? Is there really a parsec? Yes. Ah, I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Interesting. There is a parsec, isn't it? It's, it's. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So yes, uh, spice mines. Uh, not good times. Not good times in Star Wars. Yeah. What universe would you rather live in, Star Wars or Star Trek? Um, I think Star Wars. It's much more fun. Yeah, I don't know. I, I for some reason, I don't know why Star Trek. Just see. 
I think the Captain Janeway one. Yeah. I'd live in that universe. Yeah, but uh, it's like, you see... But Star Wars would be dead in a minute. Star Trek, everything is so clean. Like, you know, it's like... Uh, it's too, it's too, oh, i tell you what I'd like to live in. Yeah. Uh, Battlestar Galactica, the, the episode that had the early 2000s. Oh. With, with Starbuck. Yeah, well... Which was a messy fe- one. The female Starbuck. Yes. That's bizarre. I liked her. I just liked. I liked. She. She. She, she was just. It wasn't overly done. Yeah. She wasn't like beating the shit out of every guy. She was just a girl. Uh. That. 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 You know. She, don't mess with her. And. And she'd punch you back. Yeah. You know. And she'd take it. I liked it. I. I thought it was. I, it worked. Worked. No. Worked. It's like I. 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 I was actually surprised how how good it was. Like you know, I was, was. like uh, very. Very. Uh, uh, you know, concerned knowing the original, like you know yeah. the the films, the TV. The and and TV you did show. feel the te- you did feel the tension. I remember, yeah, you know, it was very good. Now comments, big improvement on the mic. I've said hello, hello, hello. Uh, be there in a minute. Uh, uh, badge, badge and cowboys just coming on uh, to follow us. Flying live, looks like Davo Monday. There, it's okay, okay. Akai lad. Uh, who dat in the other Royal Mail livery? Well, let's have a look at that one. Uh, I'm a tracky apparently, and it's a bunny Star Wars. Yes, sorry, Matt. Matt Sibley is a, tr- uh, a tracky and bunny Star Wars. Uh, now, uh, I think I should start the cruise going. What are you saying? Now, I'll just say hello to everyone who's here. Uh, we're all sitting very tidily uh, on the asphalt. We've got um, Serpy Jam. Serpy Jam, welcome. Uh, we've got Johnny F, we've got Baker, we've got I uh, cross I with us. Uh, then we've got Skyhawk, we've got Davo, we've got Aerox, we've got Akai Lad. Uh, we then have uh, Threads, sir. Threads, welcome. You're new. Uh, reasonably new, Threads, sir. Deep Features, Angry Yarn, and Matt Sibley with us. And there might be who else is. Colonel Kink is all the way down the other end of the airfield, all on his own. This Colonel Kink doesn't follow the rules. No, that's the active runway. Oh, you're the only out. clever one among us then in that case. That's probably yeah. that would make sense. Look, look, uh, look at the, like, unless you don't I didn't, have, I didn't like, even look at the woodsock. Do you have live buzzer on? No, is, 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 it, is it amenable? Is it? Well, it's, it's very, it's very overcastish. I think, I, I think I switch it off. And, and I, 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 the only reason I could switch it off is because uh, uh, we, we, people want to see the lovely new scenery, I suppose. That's what I'm going yeah. to do. Yeah, Quite. no, that is. Uh, um, it's like I, I, I don't know what the ceiling is, but it, it, it looks like very, very, very good. Yeah, no, it, yeah, no, it's no, it's it's no good. Like, let's be, let's let's be fair. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Robert Times says good evening. Raptor X here. Uh, he says not checking in tonight, but looking forward to watching the YouTube upload. Oh, brilliant! Uh, what's your attitude going to be, says Angry Aaron? Oh, altitude. 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 Uh, I don't. Well, I bet we'll start at 3,000 feet, I'd say. Well, I, I, I could tell you, but it's a VFR flight, like, you know. No, I'll find out. Don't tell me anything. You know, you, you know I, I'll, I'll find out if, I, if I'm too low and I can't go over the mountain and all hell breaks loose, well, that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to go into the cockpit here, Colonel Clink. Uh, okay. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure. There's plenty of fuel. Oh, oh, I want to go to the main menu. Oh, that took me out a bit there. Uh, da, 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 mm, yeah, buttons. Press buttons. Now. So I'm going to fuel up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fuel up. Now, Iceland is not like America. It doesn't have tons of airports, you know, to... Uh, I think nine gallon on the, on the left. And on the right, we'll give it a, a bit more. I don't know if we'll make the whole trip on that. 50 gallons, do you think, Colonel Clink? Would I make it 50 ish gallons? I, I, I have no idea. What does, uh, what does no, the like uh, uh, 208 uh, burn? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, well, we'll find out. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if I have to land, I have to land. And if I crash, I crash. So we got 70% and 6 and 1's the other side. Right, so uh, now I don't want any automatic fuely fuely switching. Uh, I don't. Where's the fuel in this, this, this aircraft? Fuel, fuel, fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. I haven't flown this aircraft for quite. Is that up here? No, uh, no, no, no. Um, I'm just. Talking. It's, is it overhead? Isn't it? I, I find it. I find it while I'm running the cruise. 
Right, so I will taxi the nearest runway. I'm not going to bother too much. So like I, 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 I think you have overhead. Uh, um, you switch on the fuel tanks. I don't think you have. You switch them. I think it feeds I'm from both. I'm gonna go back to runway one three. I think. Oh no, I'm gonna go forward. I'm gonna backtrack runway one nine, folks. That's what I'm gonna do, uh, and take off the wrong. All right. Okay, I'll go up to where Colonel Clink is. Let's play it properly. Let's do it properly. So uh, we're going to have to backtrack to the runway. A very confusing taxiway method. Okay, I see you. I'm going to come up here, around so that apron, and down again. We're going to come up to you. I'm going to taxi up to you. You you, you uh, cross the main runway. You follow right. the yellow lines. You you you, 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 you cross the uh, um, what you call it, the disabled runway. Uh, you follow the yellow lines. You take a right, and you. Follow across the other runway, and you you there you find it. It's easy. Yes, it's easy. You find it's, it. it's 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 uh, elementary. It's, it's 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 not it's not a difficult airport for a change. I, 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 yes, it's actually quite very straightforward. It's actually quite straightforward. These big ones, international airports, folks. Do you know, I'm gonna start flying the Airbus today. Uh, I'm just getting my. How do I say it? I'm 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 how what's. I'm cleaning my. I'm just getting my stuff in order. Uh, as Sue mentions, uh, they say make your bed. I'm making my bed. I'm getting things organised for. Did you, the did you get your type rating? Uh, no. Why well, would I have a type rating for an Airbus? Not a ah, chance. I'm not supposed ah. to know what I'm doing. It's going to be all hell. I'm going to have all hell breaking loose in that. All hell's going to break loose. Uh, so we're taxiing now, folks. So you can all follow. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm batching. I have to. I want to get my YouTube going again. So I was looking at this. I was batching. You just have to have your. You don't want to be panicking on Friday late to finish your video. You know. So I'm doing that all this month, uh, and I'm going to do some research, and hopefully, I know I keep saying this, do some streams during the week. Um, I didn't do one last week because I was building IKEA furniture. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, it's tricky, but it's much cheaper than trying to get someone in to do it. They charged a lot of money. So I said, I'm doing it myself. So I believe, I'm delighted some of you got your cups, because I said that in the jest. I said that in jest, not thinking of the um, logistics of getting them out here. <laughs> Oh yes, it's fresh water. It is. It's fresh water. Am I, going I right believe way? you. I believe you. Yes, I am. Look at that. Everyone's following behind. Let me just get my taxiing organised here. Across the runway. Uh, yeah, have good old look. Like you know, it's, oh, I can't see there. Um, good habits die hard as well as bad ones. Just looking left and right. Uh, that's Max Maxinator forty five forty five. That's just followed. Greetings, Maxinator. I I'm delighted. We're delighted to have you with us. In our crazy madness, uh, I'm in the in the in the uh, Cessna caravan with Gurman. Uh, we're going to fly Colonel Clink's. Oh, Colonel Clink! Yeah. Tell us about this amazing, amazing flight plan you've designed for us. Well, it's like we 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 have to cross a couple of hills, like, and also we're starting up. Well, I I don't know if you don't have uh, uh, the real weather on, like, but there's snow and ice, and uh, uh, which we coming across. It's like uh, we, we, we landing, we have two stop and goes on two dirt runways. One might be a touch short, It's I think it's only like uh, around 1500 feet ish. It might be snowy there, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, like you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there. And uh, at the, we, we, we're gonna see um, a couple of the. Uh, uh, interesting viewport thingy bobs like a church which is right next to the airport and uh, when you look in like one of the parking lots looks a wee bit like uh, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers the TV show from the 70s uh, Space 1999 <laughs> it's hilarious I remember even as a kid I thought it was and uh, uh, th there is <laughs> There is like a building, when you're looking from the top, it looks a wee bit like one of the buildings of uh, uh, the moon base Alpha. Yeah. When, when, you, when, when, when you look in there, and it's like, uh, uh, it's kind of fantastic. And anyway, the final desti destination, uh, uh, Delta India, India Sierra, 
that is uh, part of the current landing challenge, which is uh, uh, in, um, in, in in the Microsoft Flight Sim. So uh, nothing bad is going to happen. And um, I, I'm, I'm trying to find my way back into the cockpit and brakes come and loose. And uh, I, I, I just going to fly now. Like, you know, it's like I'm, 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 I'm bored of waiting. Oh, we're waiting for iCross. He must have gone for a sandwich. Uh, uh, Conville Adam V is coming down to taxiway. We wait for Conville for a sec. He's, he's racing behind. Uh, thanks. Thank Cave is, is just, he's obviously gone for a sandwich or a cup of tea. And everyone else is lined up very neatly, Colonel Clink. I'm, 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 Look I'm at that, staring. folks. I'm, 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 I'm behind uh, 150. That is just brilliant. From Ike, 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 uh, why doesn't it uh, show the first two on the runway? Okay, Sorry. I can't see their names. Okay, Sorry, boys, yeah. off you go. Rock and roll. Okay, uh, how, da, 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 how, da, da, goes in? how goes in now? And we just have to go through each other. There's no collision detection, you know. So I have feck off you. I'll worry about that in the way. How goes uh, in? Happy days. Oops, repeat, repeat. And then I can talk about the comments then when I get the autopilot on. There's a uh, Bajan cowboy. Oh, 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 the taxi box. Okay, autopilot goes oh, on oh. and uh, off we go. There goes Adam. I'm not turning very. Oh, they haven't fixed. Oh, right. Oh, this must look terrible. I, I got full deflection on the rudder, folks. Uh, some aircraft are better than others with the rudders. There's Cowboy, and I'm kind of getting in the center line again. Bring the uh, full back power. There we go, we got full power. T's and P's are in the green. A little bit of right rudder for some reason to the left. Uh, that's fine. Speed's building up. 60 knots, take a bit of weight off the nose. Up we come. Uh, deposit rate gear up, although the gear is fixed. It's no arm. Uh, and I'll zoom out a little bit, get a bit of viewage in there. Uh, I'm going to take a right turn and I'm going to work out the autopilot as I go. Uh, now, I'm going to have it on now, so autopilot. Now, let me get my altitude sorted first. Sorry. Let's. I, mm, this is. For me, I want the autopilot to transition nicely. Oh, great. My th uh, you can't see this, but there. Uh, part of my control column came apart just there. Brilliant. Uh, it's getting, we're getting off to a great start now, folks. Uh, my trim came out of the control column. No! So, uh, yeah, now, the altitude select. I'm selecting the altitude here first to, I said, 3,000 feet. Uh, do, 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 do. You'll see it here if you're new to watching Sim. Uh, going to be a lot of Xbox people joining us. I'm going to talk about that as well. That's 3,000 feet, so I selected that. But I want to continue my ride of rate of climb. Uh, I'm going a bit slow, lads. Uh, so that, no, no, come on. Oh. Okay, take it easy now, take a bit of power back. Oh god, that's shocking. That was shocking. It's so much easier to fly the real thing, just a rough heading will do. Did you, uh, did you, did you I, make I a hands of it already? I just want to get a nice transition to the autopilot. They're different, they're not really that different. 500 feet a minute should be about there. Uh, when I hit the autopilot, I don't need sudden movements. This is the thing in real life, folks. Altitude is set. Uh, set. Okay, 3,000 feet. So let's get the autopilot on. Nav on. Beautiful. No bumps. It's like uh, when we do the first turn back towards the airport, like, and I'll be kind of flying over over uh, uh, um, Moonbase Alpha. It turned 30 degrees there, I didn't like that. There's a bank button though to stop it turning 30 degrees because what happens is the airplane kind of goes and it can't catch anyway. But other than that, it was nice, uh, except for some sick passengers. Sorry, Colonel Clink, what was that? I say it's like when we make the turn back towards the airfield, we kind of fly over Moonbase Alpha. Oh, we must, we must point this out to us. Now, my sight deck isn't working, and I know my flaps didn't come up. Of course they didn't. They're all the way down for some reason. You know, you know what the funny thing is? 
Uh, no, no, for some reason, that. I hear your engine, and uh, uh, you you over the engine quite dramatically. <laughs> you can hear my engine. Yeah. From the stream or from? No, from from the headphones, like over Skype. Hmm. I seem okay. We're going to 135, 135 knots. Uh, now you're we're powering back. Now you're powering back. Yeah. I did. I did. You're, you're, you're coming into your cruise now. I don't know. I think you're a moon base 1999. It's like your engine is stabilizing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a bit messy. It was a bit messy. It was a little bit messy. Now, where's the mixture? Oh. Oh. Interesting. Normal. Great. Okay, we're all normal. Uh, so we're flying. Oh, our fuel situation is here. All right. Now, yeah, it's going to happen fairly quickly this time. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run out the the left tank very soon. I've got 41 knee... Pa mm, 41 pounds. Mm. Um, right. Uh, I just need to catch up on, on what I've got to do with the fuel. What, so what speed are you actually going? I am going at 131 knots. Okay, maybe I slow down a wee bit. But no, I'm, I'm kind of slowing down for everybody else as well, so uh, they can catch up. So I just want to get the fuel system sorted out so I know what to do when all hell breaks loose, because I kind of half know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, now we're still the fuel controls on the... That's the fuel. Fuel. Fuel! Damn you! Oh no, it's on the right, left side. Is it? Where do I switch tanks? Um, what did you say, Colonel Clink? You were, you were going on about where the fuel... Let me get some eye candy in. Well, you have Let's your fuel... You, you only have two switches, I think, in a 208. They're overhead. And that is your left tank and the right tank. And it's like... Is that on, it? On, no. on or off, yeah. I don't no. think you select. It feeds from both. Fuel tank selectors. So you can't crossfeed. Huh? Oh, it's do is it doing what it does? It takes fuel from both wings equally. I think so, yeah. Like in the Cessnas. We'll find well, out, it, folks. It, it, is a, it is a chestnut. <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> now in a minute. <laughs> it is a Cessna. I know, I mean a Cessna 172 or 150 or something like that. Now, uh, let's get some eye candy out because that's why we're all here. Uh, oh god, that does look very impressive, folks. I have to be honest with you. Let's just clean it up a bit. So I'm doing 130 knots, those of you who are. I'm going to just get rid of the clutter. And then I'm going to read the comments. Now, that is getting the horrible mess out of the way. That's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. So, one point to Orbex, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they do get a point. They do indeed get a point. Was it always like this? I didn't do a comparison. So brilliant. Uh, did you get the free Iceland mesh from Orbex? I did. If you go to the Orbex website, uh, you'll see it there. Or I, I, I put a, a little link uh, on the um, on the Twitter and Twitter and Instagram and on. Um, other thing that I don't know how to work. Uh, the other thing, which was, uh, oh God, it's gone out of my head. It's gone out of my head. And I, it's, it's, where is it? Did I put it in here? Uh, very rude to be on your phone when you're talking to someone. On Discord. Discord! I put it on Discord there earlier on. I was just looking at the chat and saying hello. Uh, to everybody um so yes uh discord thank you <laughs> discord is it on discord yes but on discord uh did you get a free ice submission yes it did uh da, 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 mike is much better that's great that was earlier on so uh yeah i'm gonna probably have an engine failure uh at some point uh now let's see where everybody is maybe i need to slow down a little bit more yeah i think i'll slow down to 100 knots for a while folks uh, let's see where everyone is. Just activate. Yeah, I'm going a bit too fast. So let's, because it's a bit of fun. 
when people kind of, I'm going to take the throttle back now to, well, first of all, I need to, where's the fuel flow? Let's get the old fuel flow going. Fuel flow meter, please. Right there. Okay, fuel flow PPH. PPH. Let's just get a prop back from climb. That will just save us a bit of fuel. And I'm taking us back, I'm taking us back to about 100 knots. Now, with the autopilot, you got to be careful because this doesn't do have auto throttle, obviously. So, you know, that's the first thing I do. Uh, now, I've never used autopilots in real life. It's all manual. Uh, no fancy, you know, uh, autopilot, but, you know, if an engine fails, that comes off straight away, pretty much, because then you'll just stall. I, I use autopilot all the time. That's because... Okay. In it, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, it's like, uh, uh, it's called the extra pilot. Yes, you're just kind of, like when you're driving a car. Yeah, it's like, you know, you trim it out, you trim it out, it's hands off, like, you know, it's like the trim wheel is like an autopilot, like, yeah, you, know, you know. You do the become like an autopilot, actually, after a while, I think, it's true. Uh, I, 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 I know. You do that's, indeed. That's, that's, that's what you learn when you have to flee from the mines of Kessel. It is. It is from our new alien. alien. I was saying to, the, uh, to everybody, welcome to such and such, such and such, and of course our new alien overlords, Ming the Merciless. Nanu. Oh, we, have Ming, Nanu. We, we have Ming the Merciless on. Uh, Ming is was real. He was, in the end, Ming the Merciless was real. Yeah, he is real. Uh, as it turns out, and he's the ultimate ruler of the universe. Yeah. Uh, I, I find it fascinating. This is where that came from. Uh, the Americans are now saying that, yes, UFOs are real. But how are can they? you say how can you say that an unidentified object is real? Do you know? I. They're kind of saying yes, UFOs do exist. But they don't know what they are. So how do you know if they exist or not? No, am I making any sense? No, not really. Oh. Well, if it's an unidentified object. Yeah. It's an object that's unidentified, which is... Okay. Well, um, that, is, that, is, that is fine. But they're, saying we, they're, not, they're not flying saucers. They're not saying that flying saucers, aliens exist. They're saying that unidentified yeah. objects exist. I mean, it could be like a Russian jet. Like, you know, if it is unidentified, it's a UFO, no? Yeah. And, and it's not a UFO anymore, you're absolutely right, Lisa. It's called something else. It's called, what was it? Uh, an, a, an unidentified flying object, was that it? Was it? Unidentified aerial phenomena, Lisa says. Excellent. So it's an unidentified aerial phenomena. I think it um, no political correct with UFOs as well. Um, possibly. It's could be. My engine is making funny noises. Oh, maybe it's the aircraft flying around me. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think it's just more accurate. Uh, unidentified aerial phenomena. But there are funny things they're making with, with, thun with thunder and static electricity, these balls of thunder. They're saying this kind of stuff happens, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But are we alone in the universe? Uh, well, it's an interesting one, Colonel Fink, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say they're so far away, and you've got to remember, there's distance and time, isn't there? So there could have been cultures before us, and, and, and you know, come and gone. A, we, we, we might receive something from some civilization, and by the time we receive it, they're already gone. They don't exist anymore. They're yeah. dead. Yeah. That could be true. Uh, also, um, I've often thought that... Jeez, this looks like an alien planet, to be honest with you. Also... Uh, it's I think just, that it's just Iceland. <laughs> yeah, that they say that radio waves um, have been going on for what a hundred years. Yeah, but you know, so you, it's a hundred light years out. We've gone to communicate. So if they're going to communicate back at the speed of light, it's going to take them a hundred years to come back to you, us. But you know, you know what the scary, scary bit is, right? It's like uh, um, the first person any civilization would learn about right 
will be Uncle Adolf. Oh, yes, that's right. Was that the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, very scary, wasn't it? Was the Olympics the first televised events? As far as I know, yeah. I think it was, was it? It's Except like for a, some British chap at the fair and going, Hello! This is the new television. <laughs> Hello! This is TV. Or is that radio? I can't remember. Yeah. A, I do, yeah. Is that the first televised event? It's, 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 really, it's really scary when you think about it. Yeah, they kind of... You see, you know, I, if there is aliens out there, right, we can't see them. Because people are going, where are the aliens? Well, they're going to kind of... They're going to kind of have an exclusion zone around our solar system. Because they're going to go... Yeah, no, nah, we don't really want them in the community. Yeah. Uh, I think we better bypass them. So it's an exclusion zone. Because if we have them, it, humans would be the trash of the galaxy. Pretty much, yeah. Can you imagine all the business? Oh, we want to drill this planet for... Look what happened to an avatar. Avatar. <laughs> avatar. Avatar. Look what happened. You know. They made an avatar out of avatar. Avatar. Yeah. They made an avatar. <laughs> Killing all the natives because they want the stuff. So they go, uh, we just, we'll just leave Earth out for the minute, please. Yeah, we, we don't want, because they're going to annoy us. They'd say, they'd just be gone, do you know? Uh, ball lightning. E Lisa, you are very clever. Ball lightning, thank you. Uh, we we're talking about lightning and they see this, this light and there's just the ball of lightning uh, and stuff like that. So it's fascinating. Uh, that's okay. View live weather. See, when I'm looking over here, you know I'm looking at the comments. Live weather is completely IMC fun with the train. Yes, uh, IMC uh, is we can't see a thing in real live weather. Oh, look at this change of scenery. Wow. It's like just uh, bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, and just all of a sudden it's a screen kind of. I'd say they make a lot of sci fi movies here in Iceland. It's like, um, and the wee bit ahead, it's like uh, uh, all icy. Glaciers and stuff Ooh. coming up. Ball lightning, that's fine. I think Hitler broadcast it first, says Johnny F. Wow, when you think of it. So uh, Hubble what, has just what, gone what, down. Hubble has speed? just gone down. Lisa says Hub Hubble has gone down. Has it been shut down? Because I know it's coming to the end of its life. What speed Hubble. are you going? Oh, I better speed up. I'm going at 100 knots. Oh, Jesus, I better slow down. I'm right on top of you. Okay, what well I'm going to add, I'm going to go to 130 again, this, the guys, they'll catch up. You know, they'll slew. You can slew the magic button. Now, this is great. This is very clever. There's me chatting outside. And, yeah, that hill looks like it's going to be a bit of a problem. So, uh, yeah, I better hurry up. Because if I keep doing this, I'm going to hit into that hill. And we're, I'm going to crash. So, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to organise the autopilot. So, with the mouse... Uh, select my. Uh, I go up to. For the moment, I go four thousand feet. Uh, I set my vertical speed uh, to about four hundred feet a minute. No, I don't have to. I don't have to hit the alt, alt, altitude button again. That's great. Uh, maybe five hundred feet a minute. Will that make it? No. Uh, Five hundred feet. Will I get over the this, this this this? I think I will. Oh no, that's not me. That's angry iron. Uh, no. Yes. It's hard to tell. I love the sound, folks. Of that sounds exactly like caravan. You know. A sobo. Oh yeah. Okay. The sobo standard is so high with regards to the sounds. And look at that. Now we get into the icy area. I love the way when you're flying this flight simulator now, the train changes so drastically, I just can't get over yeah. it. But a Sobo, I'm going to go, go, go off one now. Um, oh yeah, with regards to the Hubble Space Telescope, Elisa says, not, uh, no, stopped working for no reason. It still has about five years left. Um, probably something to do with our alien overlords. Ming the Merciless, we praise you. you. Nanu, Nanu. We probably look at a planet where somebody is living and they shut it down with a laser. It was a giant space laser. Yep. Um, that's fascinating. Uh, Hubble was so such a huge... I can't even fathom it. Uh, have it you, have huge... you ever seen the uh, deep field uh, image thing in my book? I'm still trying to understand that. With the background radiation. 
no, no, it's uh, just the uh, yeah the the the, the, the light spectrum which they did the yolk with from the deep red into um, whatever like you know looking at the oldest galaxies like couple of million years away and they only like took like what like a few square square centimeters of the sky and there's like <laughs> yeah. millions of fucking galaxies it's there like stars it's bizarre yeah. it's just mind-blowing it's just so mind-blowing the whole thing uh, so I, I to fall asleep i find myself uh watching these programs on youtube about the universe of black holes and space time and all that kind of stuff it's, it's a great way to send yourself to sleep not that it's boring that I, it's it's more that i watch it all the time because <laughs> it comes in one ear and knocks around a little bit and it comes out my nose uh you know it, it it's it doesn't stick it's like watching a nature program you learn all sorts of things and you just forget about it so anyway but it, i just can't get my head around it kind of think it's just bizarre that so there must be other they, they they go on to say that okay uh it's it's they go on about the cosmic horizon right yeah. that the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate and because we can only see the speed of light and the rule is from einstein is that you can't travel faster than the speed of light so but but that's in the universe so outside it and, the, and it, ex it extends faster than the speed of light right the, the universe is actually getting bigger faster than the speed of light and increasing in speed so there's a horizon where, they, where we can see some universes now or galaxies but they'll be gone we never see them ever again right ever again so we're living in a time apparently where we can figure out the big bang but trillions of years from now or tr like trillion 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 years or whatever it is and it's a shocking amount of time is that all the universes will be spread so far apart um that we won't see sorry all the galaxies will be spread so far apart that we won't see any other galaxies so in our galaxy after it merges with the andromeda galaxy which is a long time away uh that'll be the only galaxy left that we could see so if there's another civilization they'll go well, that's just that's it that's the universe do you know yeah, that, that would be a wee bit of a screw up, like, you know, when the two galaxies collide. But you know what the good thing is? When that mm. happens, our solar system doesn't exist anymore. Why not? Because by the time it happens, our sun would have burned out oh, and yeah, became a red really? giant and uh, burn everything up. We'll be living on Melmac then. Yeah. I hope. I hope we, we would have, we would have, you know, we would have have our spaceships. We're, sp we're, you know, we're supposed to have flying cars by now. I'm very disappointed. In the 70s, when I was a kid, we were all going to have flying cars. You know, and all this kind of stuff. But we don't have any of that. Well, the, 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 there's a Czech company who, who just did uh, got a certificate or something like for a flying car, didn't they? I don't know about that, actually. Is that the one with the, with the um, gyro rotors? No, no, no. It's like, like a drone? it has a has a push prop, and uh. um, it's like uh, um, it's like you said. I haven't seen actually the the, 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 the cockpit and the controls. Does it have a side stick or a yoke, or does a yoke double up as a steering wheel, or like you know, I don't know actually. Oh. Or is it separate? So you push you, you 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 push a button and you fold the wings in and all that sort of stuff. Oh, right? I've seen loads of those, yeah, but it'll never happen. But you can't control it, the. You know, it, it, well, like it, it it works like apparently like you know, but but here's a here's a question for you like when it comes with flying cars, right? If you're going to in an airplane, right? You do your walk around. You check your surfaces, wing surfaces. Yeah, you yada, yada, little, yeah your ailerons dint. and all that sort of stuff. I think, like you know, even like you know, you still need a, a, a need to be a qualified pilot to fly one of those, right? But uh, um, 
I think it's just a recipe for disaster, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and it's this like is the some, somebody bangs in the back of you, like, you know, and your rudder is gone and, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, no, that is no good. I'm going to just revert here to the comments very quickly, Colonel Clink, and we're oh, okay. going to get back to that, right? Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, Lisa says, have you seen Milvis Corsair for Microsoft Flight Simulator? You have, Colonel Clink. Yeah, I have actually a version of it, yeah. Did, did you figure it out? Uh, no, I didn't have the time uh, uh, um, to, uh, fl like, I haven't installed the update yet, and I haven't had time uh, uh, to play around with it. The, the most what I got to it is, like, I I managed to get the engine to explode. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's a tricky, it's, it's either those it's, radials, you blow them up. It's, it's actually a, a, a really really difficult airplane to fly like alone from the engine management now once i'm figured out like you know it's i i, I think it's going to be really really satisfying but uh yeah it's actually not as easy as it looks yeah it's quite tricky uh on dcs world i was flying some of those aircraft it's quite quite hard you, you gotta know what's going on with the engine you gotta manage the engine effectively yeah. it's it's like uh i i find it uh uh still the like i don't know if they fixed some of it in the update but um you have like uh three cooling flaps you have the cowl flaps right you have a flap for the oil cooling and you have another flap for water cooling and mm. uh, um so I, I i think it was water cooling uh, anyway it's like uh yeah no it's uh, uh, uh really really tricky like uh, um, it's not bad. Uh, like it, it, it really looks like the sound of it is like fantastic, mm -hmm. and it's like uh, um, you can't just start the engine. Like you know, you have to go through the whole procedure, yada yada yada. And they have the whole checklist there, like and also which takes about ten minutes to go through that. <laughs> it's like, uh, um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's it, it's really cool. I'm just doing a screen here, folks screen now yeah so it's interesting now going back to the comments here uh robbie says uh, later that was reagan's reagan star wars project wasn't it so what if remember they were going on about star wars with ronald reagan all those years ago oh yeah to, to uh, shoot out the russes i don't know what happened came uh, of that uh, i don't think anything happened there i don't know well, war hamster says even though we can still see the big lights from these mad faraway galaxies they're so damn old, they've already died, faded away. Yeah, possibly. They're all different now, because we're looking back in the past when you see Star. Yeah. If it's 50 light years away, you're like seeing what happened 50 years ago. It's uh, 50, yeah. This has collapsed, it collapsed into the black hole. It's like, uh, uh, this, is, this is one of the mind-boggling things, like, you know, if something is millions of light years away, like, you know, the time you see it, it's like, millions of years ago when you actually when, when when the light was emitted it's like really bizarre Robbie Robb says yes but where does the universe end and what's beyond the edge of the universe this is the thing that nobody knows is it it's bizarre I mean here's, a, here's another mind boggling thing about the universe right because it originated all in one tiny spot right so it doesn't matter where you are in the universe from wherever you're looking at you are at the center of the universe yeah that's it okay it's like completely bizarre it is but it would be because if you're in a big if you're in the sea right no matter where you look you're in the center of the seas from your point of view though yeah correct mm -hmm. so that's our issue so if there wasn't you know the cosmic horizon they go on about what does it end you know is it you know is oh god i'm crash uh, yeah i better better hurry up there and uh, as i'm looking at my screen colonel clink i'm kind of low now because oh i went off course a little bit there but let's get the old altitude problem fixed uh come on mouse come on mouse i'm going up to 5700 feet now and can I, can you, can you ready to climb you ready to climb? Come on. Oh, my mouse is acting up. What's, what the deuce? What the deuce is happening here? I'm gonna get... 
Okay, my mouse. Hmm. My mouse has gone crazy. It never goes smoothly here, folks. Uh, come on. Well, at yeah. least at least my side tech is working today, so it makes life a bit easier. Now that's working. Things happen. So now we're at 850 feet a minute climb. That to get us over that little hill. 134 knots. I need the power there. Uh, I need the power where it is. I'm saving some fuel. I've run out of fuel on the left tank. Which is fine. Well, have I? I have 19 gallons. I don't know what the unusable fuel is. How much How much does, does she burn, though? Well, it's staying here. Fuel flow PPH 340. But PPH meaning wash. You know. Uh, fuel flow PPH. Is that pounds, pounds per hour? Doesn't make sense. I've never heard of that before. Well, is it? it does it give you the quantity in, in, in pounds or does it give it to you in uh, 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 gallons? Pounds, yeah, so pounds per hour would make 339 per hour. Wow, that so is a lot of fuel. You give a pound 300, you know, 300 odd pounds of butter. Yeah, so I've escaped that little issue. Uh, I'll be back to 130 knots now soon when I level off. And there's everyone following along nicely. Let's see where everyone is. Uh, Currently, it's very far behind. Where is... Where is all what, 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 speed are you, what speed are you going now? Maybe I'll catch up a little bit. Uh, I'm doing about 100. I'm doing 115 now, because I'm climbing. I'm about to level off. I'm leveling off now, so it'll be about 130. So, let's go back to the comments. Uh, yeah, but where does the universe end? Yeah, so nobody knows uh, if it keeps going just onto infinity and just you know everything eventually they say they say even like it's weird they say let me think about this now because it's hard to recuperate they say that we're not expanding the planet isn't expanding but things get really big in between planets and, and, and ga in between the galaxies are expanding but then after a while everything will start to expand and then even even the smallest uh, nucleus or um what you call the smallest thing in the planet, the smallest thing, nucle nucle nucleus, they'll even disintegrate, you know, uh, and then it's just nothingness. Like the big, the big rip. The big rip, that's what they call it. Uh, but they don't, they don't really know, really, for sure. But then does it, does it pulsate? Does it come out and then back in? Do you know? Does it, that happen? Or is it a case of, they, then there's other theories where with string theory and I'm not even going to pretend to talk about that because somebody I'd somebody had the crazy idea it's a bouncy universe but so they're all I yeah they're all they're all like sheets and once the sheet touches off another sheet it creates another universe and this kind of stuff and it's bizarre and it gets beyond human comprehension then at that point except for most of us uh, and the sheet and the, sh when the sheets touch a universe comes into existence or the multiverse there could be loads of universes do you know, there could be a multiverse now into, if in, they say a multiverse into infinity. So there's, think of a big bag of marbles that go on to infinity. And if you have infinity like that, you could have every single si possible situation that could arise would arise. Wouldn't it, Colonel Click? Pretty every much, possible yeah. situation you could think of. So you would have another Earth and the continents are shaped the same. And maybe there's a few versions of you uh, and Karen Clink and me and everybody and um, we could have then so if, if it's multiple if it's endless you're going to have a copy of Earth but one thing might be slightly different do you know um, you never know I might have been hosting the Olympics in 1932 when was it <laughs> you know but you just don't know it's bizarre so I don't know um, we need an expert on the show Colonel Clink yeah it's like uh, um it's 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 like uh, uh, we need the Stephen Hawking guy. Who's the new us. guy? Uh, the nice guy from England. He kind of talks like this. I'd love to do his accent. Like the, this is the, the universe, man. and he's always smiling when he talks. You mean your man the Cox? universe, you know, uh, Brian Cox, and the universe. It it yeah. kind of goes off in these directions, and because of all the things, 
<laughs> he's brilliant. I watch him for hours. It's, like, it's just uh, nice to watch. Brian Cox is a star. He's just deadly. It's like, uh, uh, um, there's actually uh, uh, a weird thing in the chick, like they did, like, I don't know if it was the Brian Cox guy or whoever they did, like they did an experiment, like, right? And it's about the curvature of the earth, right? And you stand at the lake and you look looking across the, uh, um, what should we call it, the other side of the lake, like, you know, okay, well, it's like a fair, fair old distance, right? And um, so they're sitting at the, at, at, at the beach of, of that lake and like they're flying a helicopter across, right? And you would expect when you see the other side of the lake, like, right? So the helicopter lands there and happy days, right? So, but when the helicopter landed, it disappeared. So basically they were looking above it, like the, the helicopter over like a couple of kilometers when it landed, it was a Got to climb to 7,500 feet. couple of feet below the horizon line. So you basically didn't see the blooming thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. He, he's an interesting guy. He makes it sound, he, he the way he explains things, the rest of us can understand, isn't it? Yeah, it makes it sound simple, like, you know, without the big e equations what? and yada yada yada, takes it all out of the, and makes it practical, like, takes a practical application of it, but makes it easy to understand without having, like, a, a, a degree in higher math. Yeah, because what happens is, and I've, I've seen this many times, because I was instructing in, in computers and then airplanes and stuff, so people who are incredibly clever, generally speaking, can't really they can only t t pass it on to very intelligent other people <laughs> right they can't they can't pass on information because they're so intelligent and they're effectively going why don't you get this why don't you understand this like yeah. there's this instructor on you and he'd be going M my my student keeps stalling the airplane and why doesn't he just get it whereas the rest of us would kind of go well you need to tell them to apply forward pressure and trim the aircraft and, and tell them this way because because well, i just don't I, he just doesn't get it i don't he can't explain it he couldn't explain it to the student now he's a brilliant pilot obviously right but he's very intelligent so very intelligent people like very very intelligent people i think Karen Kling, tell me if i'm wrong they ha have a difficult time to 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 pass on information well, that's it's incredibly not, complicated it's not passing on the information but passing on the information in layman's terms yes thank you mm. it's like uh, um, I slurped there what's going on what? I slurped you slurped I was wondering is there something wrong with my mug do you need to bip mm. so yeah yeah it's I just I just something I noticed over the over the eons of my IT days it's, it's sometimes it's like uh, uh, it is relatively difficult to explain something which you do every day. It's like uh, um, if somebody asks me a question, I just you know respond with the answer, with like just the factual bit. Yeah, right? I mean, it, that's it, it, that's it, a, that. Go on. That, that is what it is but if you don't know what I'm talking about it's like I um, could talk to you, could talk to you in simplified Chinese yes it's yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's an art it's uh, uh, um, and, 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 and it can be and it can be difficult uh, uh, to explain some Especially when it is something which you have done for donkeys and uh, um, somebody asks you, but why is it that way? And you just don't know. The only thing what you know is because it is. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And Davo says, uh, ah, well, that's like teach, teaching someone to drive. Why can't they, why can't they steer? Sorry. Why can't they operate the gears and the clutch at the same time? You know, they can't, it's, it's a motor thing. It's, 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 it, there's actually an art to explaining these things to people, I believe. Um, like when I first started instructing, the hardest thing to do, one of the hardest things to do in the airplane 
because you had to have another instructor beside you and you'd have to talk about the landing all the way down because what happens is when you're concentrating all the time yourself and, and it's just you just get used to that so you got to talk and fly at the same time and it, it takes a little bit of work not a lot but a little bit of work to do that because you tend to be silent to these and these very important phases of flight like the landing and the takeoff certainly the landing yeah so you got to be able to talk and fly fluently and easy at the same time and it takes uh, you actually only start to learn after you've an instructor for for a few weeks uh you know you, you get to be able to, to get the lingo out of your mouth as well as fly the airplane and be aware of everything around you so it's a little bit of a skill you know it's interesting uh who do we have uh, oh 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 I've, I've oh i'm stalling because i've run out of fuel uh why am i stalling I run out of fuel now i had the power on oh okay i see what's happened oh, oh, oh my engine has my engines have failed my engines oh. failed fuel is gone oh. autopilot coming off of course i was outside i was outside emergency folks Mer Mer troubles happening bad things are happening <laughs> now oh, you're, luckily you're, you're not too far from from the next uh, from the first oh, uh, pit stop the deuce. oh everything's so, gone very dim yeah. it's saving the power and the lights i hate the way the engine keeps going uh, we're quite close to an airfield in fact folks it's dead ahead Colonel Clink you're ahead of me now there now aren't you uh, yeah now you kind of slowed down I have slowed down what is the best flight speed the stall speed is about 50 knots so 65 to 70 knots is my best glide speed uh, one day folks one day they will have the engine actually physically stop please now i'm going to feather the prop so i'm going to stay trimmed at that now right i want to keep my 74 knots just i want to see what happens when i when i when i feather the prop okay so i'm going to keep about 72 knots just to see if it works because now the prop is not angled the prop is angled like this so the wind's coming against it it's cut to the wind but i want the prop like this so it's not causing drag okay it's much drag so it's 71 knots now it should be noticeable so that's 71 i'm gonna put i'm gonna feather the props not much difference now it's increasing you know to 72 knots i thought it would be more than that so yeah uh there's the prop there we can see it now but it's not stopping so i take the throttle back uh we want to flick off i want to keep see last time uh oh current clink am i going to make this i don't know i may have to land in the tundra uh, maybe maybe there's a seal hunter nearby I hope so. So at this point, I'd be doing a mayday call uh, to get our exact position. So the helicopter doesn't come and get us. Uh, and I do my checks. And we know it's fuel, so we got to switch everything off now. Do I want to switch off the batteries? No. No, because you can't. You because can't the because flaps are electric. Flaps. Yeah. So you, you so switch the... Uh, what is it? Um, switch the fuel off. Fuel off, and uh, that's pretty much about it uh, at the moment. There we go, we're ripping. Uh, so, oh, yeah, I meant to say earlier on. Where's our runway? I meant to say earlier on. Uh, Max, the uh, Beach House subscribe followed. Maxinator4545, welcome. You followed an hour ago. Captain uh, Herlock, nice name. Captain Herlock. Uh, and. Threadzer. Threadzer has followed just there now. So welcome, folks. I've run out of fuel again. Uh, last time, this didn't go so well. Um, I Oh, I ran out of runway. Because I was too high. I couldn't go around because I had no fuel. And I went off the uh, end of the runway. There was some injuries. Um, but they're okay. I would say. Well, actually, I think we left the wings behind, Colonel Crank. I left the wings behind. So I don't know if I'm going to make... I've got 3,900 3, feet. Uh, the best glide speed... What am I get? Let's see if we can figure this out now and just stretch it a bit. Uh, we're 600 feet drop a minute. We're descending 600 feet a minute. I'm going to go to 65 knots now. 
So I'm going to trim back just under 5 degrees initially. And let's see if we get a better stretch out of it. So 65. That's 500 feet a minute. So I'm going to keep it about 65 knots now. Um, no, I'm not going to make it because the ground is like, we're like, I just by looking at this, we're, we're now 2,500 feet, I'd say. Uh, I know because the ground is higher than the sea, isn't it? So we're 2,500 feet. And I don't think I'm going to make the runway. So we're at 600 feet, 650 now. So I think 70 knots is better. 70 knots. Uh, we're not going to make that runway. There's just no way. There's just no way. I can't even see it. Uh, yeah. So glide approach, folks. And the hill is rising to meet us. So I'm looking for a good spot to land here. This is not going to go well, Colonel Fink. Is it not? No, this is not going to go well at all. Dead bad. Uh, no. No, it's not. I'd have a good view of the real thing, wouldn't I? No, I'm definitely not going to make the field. So, is there anything around me? Anything? So this is not a good place. Is that a road somewhere? There's a riverbed. I don't think there are many roads around here. No. This I is not a good place to have an engine failure. No. Not really. Uh, is there some sort of flat area? Sometimes the river beds can be good. Oh, I'm turning, I'm turning. I don't want to turn. Sometimes you can get these flat, you know the way in the, uh, yeah. Um, you know, river beds can be quite good. You get these gravel, these gravel things. That's risky. I may well crash, folks. This is what happens. Uh, I'd love to be able to see the runway, but I'm too low. I'm frightened. I was frightened, folks. Uh, this is just a disastrous... Now, there's a riverbed in front of me. Oh, that might not be a good idea. Uh, I'm thinking of Alaska now. You know the way they land on these gravel bars? I actually don't know how well they simulated that in uh, Flight Sim. Well, I wouldn't say they did it very well, but we're, we're going to try it, folks. We're going to try it. I think I spotted one. It's gone out of view now temporarily. <coughs> but I've only got one chance at this. I can't go around. Is that a road? I see a road. Okay, there is a road. I'm going to dump the flaps. Because uh, I'm definitely going to make it. There's a road there. I need to start coming down. Where's the mouse? The mouse is causing me problems. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Nose wants to go up. Don't stall. There is a road. There's cars on the road. There is gravel. There is. Oh, I could do that. Full flaps. Uh, I don't want to hit someone in a car, would I? Uh, side sipping. I'm going to go for a gravel bank. Or the road. I haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, who says the road? Give me. There's lots of traffic on the road. I'm going to go for a gravel bar. A gravel. What do you call them? Uh, it's just up here. This, no, no, that's not going to happen. I'm going for the road. I'm doing an American job. 57 knots. I'm going for the road. I'm going for the road. Uh, when I make the road. I you see, I'm going to run out of road now. I've only got one chance. Don't hit the trees, Gripper Sim. Here we go. Still side slipping 40 knots, that's fine. Thank you. Thank no, oh, 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 yeah, I want to stall. Get away from the trees, Gripper Sim. There we go, there we go. I'm sure the traffic would have swerved off the road and crashed horribly. <laughs> oh, that was a very, uh, let's see how that did, how it, how, how, there's no replay. The danger of landing on the road is cars. Oh, look, Johnny F is behind me as well. Well done, Johnny F. There's the future coming in. He's doing the same. Okay, lad. It's doing the same. I'm increasing my drone speed so I can see them. Here comes the future. There he's on the road as well. And okay, lad is on the road. Very, and he's in the caravan. Very nice. I'm sure the road in the middle of nowhere in Iceland. I wouldn't say there's any cars at all, folks. Maybe. So... We, we potentially theoretically 
you know, at the gravel bar, you don't know, because in America, see, I was aiming at this one here, right? But I don't know if I would have stopped in time. It's very short. So the road seemed like a better option. The only danger is you hit the wing off the side of the trees. So great. Uh, yeah. I thought I might get an airport there, but look, you can't be lucky every time. Uh, a mini, uh, aka, mini, aka, mini has followed. AKA welcome. Welcome. So yeah, that was, that was interesting. You know, uh, you know, the choices you make. Um, I don't like roads because there's poles and stuff sticking out, but we're in the middle of nowhere. That's the only choice we had. So I'm going to get fuel. They, they, they're very friendly in Iceland. And then we're going to bomb it. I'm going to take I'm off from the road. Gonna, I'm going to wait for you at the first stop. Okay, I'm gonna take off here now. Where I landed, uh, so like you're, you're not you're, you're not getting away without a touch and go. Like you know what I mean? It's well, like I'm gonna do some of those. That's gonna happen. It's like, uh, and I'm 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 not gonna be judging you. I'm not. Oh, I'm but gonna I have the problem now. Where <laughs> am I gonna have the problem? Where? Come on. My mouse is is very sad. Well, that's the fan you eat it. Like the fuel to be. Oh, it's done it. Okay, great. Fuel's on. Engine starting up. Uh, I'm going to take off with. Uh, take off with 20 flaps. Maybe 10. Uh, Side tech has really let us down, folks. Because I can't use it. It's not registering anything at all. Great. So I'm going to have full power. Got this. Okay, full power. Let it, let it steam up a bit. Uh, brakes off. Oh yeah, it's a big truck. Brilliant. Brakes off. Uh, when I get, see, I can't do a replay. I'd love to do a replay after this kind of stuff. I'm sure the wings are clear. The wings are clear. I'm going to take off very early. I, I think I'd make it in between these two trees. And up comes the nose. Just get off the ground. I just, I don't think I had a tail strike there. Just get off the ground and lower the nose. No, oh, there's some rapids. Look at that. Wow. Uh, lower the nose to take off from ground effect. We're away. We're away. Uh, now I want to start taking the flaps up. Oh, 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 don't have the nose up too much. That's fine. One stage at a time. Can't do anything about the gear. Flaps are up. So, folks, in the chat, what do you think? Would I... Now, you know, you don't know. Let's say the same. I think we kind of made it there. It's like uh, it's 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 good that everybody in Iceland is uh, uh, you know driving diesel trucks like you know so they carry they carry Avgas and diesel in, in all their cars in case of an engine failure. Yeah. Uh, the Germans' visibility went down there for no apparent reason. Did I press something? I did. I know I did. Let's get the old autopilot on again. Now again, once again, while I'm on the way to your current clink. I am going to do a smooth transition. Uh huh. The other part is actually. Get away. I'm going to do a smooth transition. Let's take a bit of the power back there so we don't burn the engine. Uh, isn't it great that's all you have to do to protect your engine? Just take the power back a little bit. Not like the old days, and the like the DC6. You know, you, your engines will die on you if you don't treat them, treat them correctly. So we're climbing up, uh, 7,500 feet. I want to have my altitude set to 7,500. They are. Uh, it is. I'll come back down actually a little bit. Oh, the mouse saddens me. There we go. I'd love a box of buttons. We're going to go to 3,000 feet, I think. Uh, I can see on the right side of my eye there the comments. I'm going to read them now in a sec. Uh, I want to have vertical speed set. I will be climbing. That's not going to work. I would actually... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Uh, like I've got bank. I've got nav on. Autopilot's now on. A little bit jerky. Just leveled off there. Oh, because we just came to 3,000 feet as I did it. Okay. Now, Colonel Cleek, we're on our way to you again. Okay. I'm right near. And I'm not judging your landing at all. I'm not oh, out oh, here. Oh, it's just right with, there. With There's everybody there waiting for me. With, with, oh. with number plates and, you know. Oh. 
to see. Right. Uh, uh, was this a fight? No, it's not. It's touch and go. Okay, I will uh, go back to manual. Uh, it's really saddening me that it the. Seemed, it seemed to be a wee bit high. Yeah, because I wasn't uh, thinking. My control got him back here. It seems to be. Mm. Uh, it's really bothering me the way the G the German uh, is very dull. Where is the light for the German? It's like, uh, do you have the uh, panel light switched on? Uh, I thought I did. Yeah, they're all on. Huh. I switched something off. You know the way that ghosted mouse? Yeah. Uh, I'm going very fast here. Is that runway? It's that ghosted mouse thing, and it just went. I, I, it just happened when the engine failure happened. Uh, there must be a switch for it somewhere. Okay, I'll worry about that in a second. So I'm slowly coming down to 100 knots. I'm not too sure the elevation of the airfield. I'm very, very low. I'm gonna keep it at 100 knots. You don't need to know the elevation of the airfield. You're flying VFR. Uh. Yeah, well, it's just nice to know, you know, how much I have to descend ah. from the distance I am from the airfield. Oh, it's great. Is it grass? Yeah. Mm, great. So, the grabber, but it's supposed to be grabber, but the grabber uh, seems to be always grass. Yeah, but I'm anyway, once it's actually. like, uh, well, you see, you just have to get it right in your window. Like, you know, if you have the right picture, like, you know, so you can eyeball it. Well, you mean, okay. I, I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. I haven't got a clue. You know, it's like uh, if you only would have an instructor here. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know. What do we do? I guess this is an airfield. Is this a grass airfield? Yeah, this is an airfield, yeah. Wow. It's a, it's of course it is. It's, it's, it's a grass it's, airfield. Feet on paddles. It's, it's actually wow. easy, easier to find than Karush. It is. <laughs> In the middle of Iceland. Yeah. There's the boys <laughs> waiting for me. I'm going to touch down here at the threshold. I'm going to uh, do a short field. Come on, speed, die, 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 die. Okay, there we go. Okay, I, I go. have to there say, you, you redeemed yourself. I have redeemed myself. Yeah, you redeemed yourself. <laughs> I was expecting asphalt. Very nice. Yeah, it's like asphalt. Jesus, that's lux luxury. Wow. Right. Here comes Deep Future coming in. Deep Future's coming in now. Let's have a look at the boys' landings. You can see Future and he's flying a single engine piston very nicely down. We touched sure. down before me, very nice. Then there's sure. uh, Cowboy. The there's uh, Bajan Cowboy coming in very nicely as well. Well done. Nice one, boys. There's uh, EI a BMU coming in. And has he got his gear down? Has he, sometimes it, it takes a while for it to click in. Oh, is he going to lower his gear up then? No, the gear was down already. It's just the graphics. Here comes Davo. Oh, oh, he just spawned there, did he? And Angry Aaron is coming in as well. So we're all going to take off again. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take off again. Interesting. Nothing there. Just Iceland, I suppose. I'd like to go to Iceland and check it out. Is there any volcanoes here in Iceland, Colonel Clink? Well, there are plenty of volcanoes in Iceland. Are they in the sea? Yeah. Well, I there must be an add-on for the volcanoes you, you, spotting you, that lava. You, you see, you see the you see the volcanoes like uh, uh, boards, like the like the mountains, like and when you're flying over it, like you know some of them you see the lakes, like you know the caldera and all that sort of stuff. Angry Iron, but, nice one. But it's like uh, the problem Bravo. though. Nice one. Go ahead, sorry, current thing. I'm just commenting. We're gonna take off again. Is, uh, 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 you know. It's uh, uh, unfortunately not simulated in the real, real weather. Like you know, it's like it would be nice to if See the volcanoes. volcanoes actually erupting, that it actually erupts in the simulator. That would be nice. I agree. Uh, battery, and, uh, oh, and then all oh, the troubles oh, which you oh, have is that with the ash. Right? Are we? Are we gonna? Are we? Are we gonna go? Are we ready to go? I'm switching my avionics on and off to hopefully fix that right thing. No, it's definitely it's definitely a, a, a knob somewhere. There's definitely a. Uh, no, 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 we're all up full. No, that's a floodlight. No. Uh, okay. 
Um, I just can't get the brightness up in the in the garment screens after the engine failure. It's just very dull. Anybody any ideas? No? No. Okay. Uh, let's just go. I can still read it. Right, yeah. so. Uh, brakes off. Well, not. Brakes on. Full power. Uh, flaps. Would flaps. be... See, you don't want to be taken off with full flaps. No. One notch you know. flaps. So you don't get off the ground, folks. Uh, and I noticed that about simming. That you don't have to... You know, so we set oh, the altitude and off the so we'll get off. that. So I've got 22 fine. knots, 40 knots there. A little bit of pressure off the nose. Might come up on its own, really. Do you really need to unstick it to so maybe the jets? Okay. So power in, and there we go. And you're all fixed. Bit of back pressure. Yeah, speed is alive. 70 knots. Let's see if we can get that and speed transition. Go. Here comes up. I want to follow the GPS. 300 feet, flaps coming up. I'm Close watching in here, now, folks. This is what I'm watching. I'm looking here. I want to get. It's not going to help. I want to get on. And we take it's the proper back a wee bit for. A bit bumpy. A bit bumpy. Now we're going to get somewhere. I want to make sure bank is on so it doesn't yank the aircraft 30 degrees. And now I'm switching to... Uh, I said stay above 100 knots. Now I'm going to switch the autopilot on. This is going to... There we go. Okay, that was smooth enough. I'm still climbing fine. Right. A little bit easier on this one. Uh, to transition. I need a little bit of power. It's climbing very aggressively. What? What the deuce? Uh, vertical speed is obviously very high. There we go. That's a bit better. 500 feet a minute is fine. Uh, we take as the old prop back a bit. Not too much. And we're good. We're golden. We're on our way again. Uh, our final leg, Colonel Craig. No. There's one more touch and go to go, oh, and before nice we're going to be on the final leg. Nice so one. We fly, we fly now, now um, to the coast and doing a nice left hand turn, and um, then we're coming to. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, this is uh, Bravo India. Uh, Bravo, yeah. Small little airfield, like uh, but probably about half the size of which we just were. And then we are on our final leg. Interesting. Now, how yeah. can I get... Why is... I know I pressed something with the ghost mouse. Was it here? The brightness is making me very, very sad in the Garmin 1000s. Menu, setup, display, brightness, says Deep Future. Deep Future always has the answer. He knows everything. Uh, Deep Future, how do you know so much about all these aircraft all the time? Okay, let's do two features. This is menu. 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 Menu, menu. It's menu. like underneath the pan button. Yeah, I have it here. Menu. Setup. I couldn't have done that by mistake. Press the F mission. It's going to get fiddly now. It's getting fiddly. Uh, oh, look. I'm not going to make a big thing about it. But it's weird the way I just... I just it just went dim there. Uh, I don't want to spend all my time saddening people. But still, might be, it should be a good thing to know. Uh, menu. button oh wow 
Uh, okay. Display. But I want display. Mm, well, this, it, it is... Um, mm. Oh, enter again, maybe. No. Oh, what's the setup? Where's the setup, though? I just want to move the cursor around, folks, is all. It's really brilliant the way they've actually modeled the real thing. I'm pressing buttons here now randomly. Okay, we look, we leave, we leave it for the moment. Uh, let's just fly it. Uh, and look, enjoy the scenery! It's like, um just a top tip if somebody has a VR headset uh, it's actually worse flying that scenery in VR it's worse than no it's 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 better it's it's like do it like if you have a VR headset fly oh. that scenery in VR okay that that will be anyone got a headset That's okay, deep feature. It might be different. It might be. You might have the update. I don't have the fancy updates on mine. But it's just, you know, they've modelled each garment as it should be. You know, uh, this is a stunning scenery. Uh, VR. Yeah, I I must get my VR going. I just I don't know where my time is going. You know, I'm doing up my little studio here, trying to get my everything organised. I have the reverb. G2 says uh, says Oisk. But if I plug it in, the sim will crash. VR has a little bit to go, I think, folks. Just a wee bit, you know. Uh, I'm just going to remove my camera here. I'm just going to hop out for two seconds, but you'll still hear me. Uh, back in two seconds. But, um, yeah, the, it's just VR is, I don't know. We, it's just the older you get, the time seems to go, doesn't it? Like, you know, it's like, I, I tend to do it, like, um, when I figured, when I figured out the plane, like, you know, the plane I really like, like, you know, I fly yeah. yeah, and some are really, really good, like, I mean, really, really good. It's like, uh, um, the Wacky Wacko, the, um, the biplane, the, uh, Caronado biplane, it's, like, just fantastic. That, it's, that is, that's on my top ten, you know, that. That's it's still flying, in the top ten. Flying this in VR, like you know, you see the spars, you, you see the wires, you see like everything, mm. like the you know the little fuel droppy thing is like the the mechanical fuel indicator yeah. where they have the piston, like you know you see that, like you know it's 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 just amazing. It's really really good. It's just stunning. It really is. Uh, I have to say, taking the power back a bit. I still can't get over this, you know, and, and the aircraft now I'm on at the moment is the Airbus. Um, I want to get some of that done this week. It's like the, uh, the way that it's the cloud, it's like still amazes me. Like, you know, you're flying through a wee bit of mist, like at oh, the oh, edge I of the clouds. Thing. Like, you know, it's like just fantastic. It is. I mean, really, it's, it's just brilliant to... For real, if you know, if you're in your home country and you want to fly from A to B in real world weather, it's just brilliant. Uh, war, ha war hamsters on. I have a feeling that the thunderflies may join us. Uh, so we've got Skyhawk Davo still. You're all bunched up. We'll, we'll name them again. Deep Feature Johnny F, Strump Stirpy Jam, Baker Copper Hat is here. Aerox, War Hamster. I said Bunker Titan and all the others are bunched up. I can't remember. This is Davo. Davo 453 uh, in the same aircraft uh, and we're doing our turn now towards the airfield current clink me joker and uh, Tom Lee Crab is, is off that the far end with Ted Stryker is that Ted Stryker brilliant I love it <laughs> get me Ted Stryker <laughs> are you nervous um, Ted Stryker uh, I don't know, we didn't get on in the war, apparently. Huh? Are, you, are you nervous? With what? Ah, Jesus, you didn't get it, for feck's sake. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, damn, if you said, uh, surely, 
Uh, am I not? Um, um, damn, yeah, that was, a very, that was one of the best jokes ever. Uh, 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 no, I've been, I've been nervous lots of times. Isn't that the one? Yeah, yeah. First he said, time. oh no, he, she said to him. Um, I, yes, I am. First time. First time? Oh, or nervous? Times. And he goes, yes, first time. <laughs> yeah, he goes, first time. He goes, no, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> that still, it still lives up to today's humour. I showed it to someone who wasn't around back in the day and it still stands the sense of humour still stands today yeah no if you're 15 you're, it's still funny you know what I mean because it was I mean I was very young when that movie came out no no, no let's do, do do a poll like you know it's like how many people have actually seen Airplane well you see I would like to do polls YouTube took polls away yeah. Can I do a poll here? On I'd love to be able to do a poll on the chat. I don't know. Does anyone know if he can do a poll on the chat? See, this is the stuff. This is why I'm taking this time. Uh, I wanna. No. Davo says no. No. Uh, no. That's very disappointing. No, they took it away from YouTube, which is very displeasing. And then Johnny F says, "Of course." Then I says, "I've only experienced the reverb due to it's good, but." Not without things that annoy me, I know. We are in uh, Mini, aka we are in the North European server. Flight Sim 481 has just followed. Welcome, Flight Sim. Welcome to the madness. We, uh, I don't know if you got the bit when we ran out of fuel. I think I survived. I landed on a road, which I don't like doing, but I had no choice. You know, I had absolutely no choice in the matter. So again, as I always say this every week, Aaron Clink, I, I'm hoping to stream the Airbus all last week. Monday yeah. and Tuesday were gone. Uh, and then I wanted to get those shelves up and I had to tidy the office because was, there's was bits everywhere in Ikea. There's cardboard. I've got, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of all the cardboard, you know. It's like, uh, do you have a fire pit? No. Maybe you want to get a fire pit behind your Christmas tree in a back garden. Oh yeah. <laughs> Colonel Clink flies over my house very low. It's very, very bold. Maddie doesn't fly very low. It's actually quite high. I say, come down lower, Mr. Colonel Clink. But no, you won't. Because no. No. you're a safe pilot. That's so in the real world, of course. No, it's like you're right not to. You're right. You see, there's, there's, there's a nasty, nasty mountain, you know, just on the other end of Grimpersim's house. Like, you know, if you go really really low like you know you have to watch out that you don't end up in that hill exactly this is true you know you don't want to be you don't want to be take you want to think you see my seven current clink will go flying from time to time in the real world folks uh and once current clink only once he said nothing bad's gonna happen. i said no don't say nothing bad's gonna happen do you remember that yeah <laughs> don't say no this is not flight sim current clink and he's going oh my god what's wrong with you ripper sim don't call me grab for some of the airplane. This is <laughs> this is serious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no there's no messing in the real world no. flying. There's absolutely no messing. Mm. That's when bad things happen. But we have a plan. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to get to these comments. Here. Let's just read some of the comments here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You can turn the brightness higher in the Garmin 1000 panel underneath the yoke. Yeah, it didn't work there. Maybe it's a little bug. Uh, that was from uh, Donny. Did Dion Shuskwil? Dion, I call you Dion. Oh God, the camera! I keep yeah. back so yes uh, I'm looking over here at the comments uh, Ray Chandler says uh, it's a luxury I think he's referring to the GPS okay so I'm wondering if I really get 500 hours out of it at one pound per hour I consider anything any video games good value if if you're going to the G2 is superb, which it is, because I have one. Uh, and the Quest 2 is great. 
it's a great entry if uh, entry option if you don't want to shell out the big bucks yeah the g2 is quite good as well i believe i uh, sorry the quest 2 I have to I have to say I I, I changed the um, the uh, what, what was the what was the Tingly, Tingly Bob called from uh, um, Oculus again? Um, Quest Two? No, the Rift. The Rift. Like I I, ha I had the Rift. I, I still have to do a video how I'm gonna get rid of the Rift with a big hammer and um, some petroleum. Uh, I, I still have mine. I'm gonna keep it in the box. Okay. Um, and it's like I got myself the uh, uh, Vive uh, uh, Pro I, and uh, it's actually fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them in the box. I, I kept it because I wasn't worth anything really. It's not worth anything to sell, but I'm definitely going to keep the CV one. Uh, also, I found today. It's amazing. I moved six months ago, uh, and I today I found when Elite Dangerous came out, yeah. a lot of people who play flights and play Elite Dangerous, same kind of titles. Uh, I found the original box for I was uh, what do you call the people who first? I was but, a backer. But you <laughs> had you, you still have your copy of Elite from the C sixty four? No, I have. Uh, I was a backer for the new Elite that's come out for the PC. And they sent me this box with a poster and a box with cards and stuff in it and all sorts of stuff. Oh. I haven't even opened the box. I haven't opened the box. I haven't even opened the 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 Amazon or no, it wasn't that the box around the box if you know what I mean. Yeah, the, so, the, the, yeah. the shipping box. I'd sell it for a million euros oh. next week. Fantastic. Anyway, there you go. Uh, but these games like Elite uh, Flight Simulator. If you're if you're looking for, oh, we need to talk about the Xbox release kind of thing. So, the Xbox is coming out. That's going to bring a whole load of new people to flight simming. Yeah. Value yeah. for speaking of pound. A, that's going to be a problem. Well, speaking for for pound, uh, as Ray Shander was saying, pound an arrow, right? Flight sim was what eighty bucks for the deluxe version or something. Yeah. Or hundred and something, right? You get huge amounts of playing hours on flight sim now you'll come and go you know it's just the way but you never you know you don't just play it and leave it forever you know that you get this game uh and you play it and that's finished then 60 quid gone where flight sim it just goes on forever it just goes on and on and on and on and on it's it's, it's a best wonder, value i wonder if it goes some at some stage into the negative and microsoft has to come back to pay you back for playing microsoft flight simulator like interest rates, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll have to pay us. They'll have to pay. Well, yeah, they'll have to pay us to play the game. Yeah, exactly. Why know? not? Emerald Harbor Air, folks. Yeah, absolutely. So it's fabulous. Ray Chandler says also, uh, just a two hours of IOR today and yesterday. Didn't yeah. realize how sloppy my flying was until my instruments started yelling at me. I was under the hood for the whole time. In two hours, I had no idea where, where was, where was apart five minutes on takeoff and five minutes on landing of each other. Ha. Okay, so yeah. So Ray was was flying IOR, and you know, you're looking, especially with those steam gauges, you're not looking outside at all. You know, you're doing patterns and holds. Oh, we have the fireflies. The thunderflies are with us. Oh. Thunderflies are with us. Um. Excellent. Uh, Aerox says, can you use, can you use the 2070 graphics cards with the G2 or is it not powerful enough? I have a 2080 Ti and it's powerful enough. Uh, but I have to lower the graphics a little bit. You will have to lower your graphics with uh, don't you think current link what kind of card do you have current link i have the um 20 something something uh whatever uh funky name it has it's like uh yeah no there's no problem running it but you you, you still have to lower the graphics settings a little bit and that is just because it has to render it twice like at uh, um, a relative high resolution so 
it's like uh, you, you don't have to uh, uh, set it down by 50%, but depending on how much memory and CPU you have, uh, um, you're probably looking at about 80% of the uh, um, quality as you would have on your monitor. It's but saying that, it's like uh, you, you, you don't notice the difference and you're so immersed in it, it's like, uh, um, it's, it's just amazing. And it, yeah, it is still worth it. Absolutely I mean, still worth uh, it. Yes. I, I, was flying, I was flying this in the uh, Coronado in the uh, Seneca. And uh, I was flying it in, in, in the rear weather and, you know, when you look into the left, like uh, 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 the sun came from the right, and uh, uh, just the reflections. Like you know, your left engine cowl was in the in the shade. The right engine cowl was partially in the sun, and the reflection on it, like you know, the, the 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 shading of it, it's like absolutely amazing. Like you know, it is. It is like uh, 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 you you're almost uh, sitting in a real cockpit, and. Uh, um, and you actually want to touch the buttons, and you, you just you can't. can't. <laughs> like you know, which which which, which sucks. But um, it's um, it it makes it easier. Um, some of the planes, like you know, you you, you find problems uh, in in the VR cockpit uh, um, when you go with the mouse uh, uh, cursor over it. You have uh, uh, um, like it doesn't match up with the uh, uh, 2D cockpit and uh, um, so you have trouble some pressing some buttons it's like uh, um, but other than that it's just it's just fantastic it does take you away uh, that's yeah. the great thing about these you know if you're having a bad day or well, if I'm having a bad day right um, uh, and something can't be fixed until next week and it's gonna bother you all week just yeah. You come in, you play the flight sim, uh, and it just takes you away. This is the great thing about computer yeah. games and titles, simulators especially, is you're gone. <laughs> you don't yeah. have to go to the pub and waste all your money in beer. No. You're gone. No, no, you, you and, definitely don't. You know. Like, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's just fantastic. Like, you know, it's like there's no two ways about it. It's a great way. It's the best way to relax. Uh, and I know, you know, you get certain people saying, oh, computer games are bad for for you too much of anything is bad for you folks but it's incredibly relaxing it just takes you out of the real world entirely better than watching a movie you know movies are nice though you can sit back and veg and just it's fed to you uh, but sim, yeah. you, sometimes I go oh I just tried this new airplane for five minutes I'm gone for two hours you know <laughs> you're gone <laughs> it's great no it's like uh, um, it's like depending depending what you Playing, like you know, uh, um, it's like uh, uh, it's it's just nice and relaxing. Yeah, I want to get back to the airbuses now, hopefully, uh, and learn a bit more. See if you leave it too long, you know, you forget. But that's you know, I, I I'd like to stream the airbus from A to B. Yeah. I know I keep saying this all the time. It's going to happen. But uh, that it, there's so much to them that you, you okay. When the 747 comes out and stuff, there's a lot to. There's a lot to know. Because, you know, when you have an engine failure, you can set up the failures for engine failures and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be fun. Uh, it really is. Uh, let's have a look at the comments. I hope VR gets a boost after the 27th, too, says Deep Future. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to talk about the Xbox. So the Xbox. I can't get an Xbox. Uh, I don't think anybody can get an Xbox. You, so, you still have problems to get a PlayStation 5. And still problems getting a PlayStation 5. The boy has just subscribed from YouTube. Greetings, the boy. Welcome to the Crazy Madness. Uh, if you've just joined us earlier on, I ran out of fuel. I managed to land on a road. We're on our f almost our final leg. We've got Colonel Click's flight plan. Uh, and we're going to land... On a very short strip that Colonel Clegg has prepared, because he tries yeah. to make things difficult for all of us, and that's no, I, the fun. I, I never, I never try to make things difficult. When you're it's supposed like to, I tell you to make things very difficult. <laughs> it's like, I just you have to make things difficult. It has to be a mad, insane runway. 
I just, I, I, I just like you know try to hone your skills. That's all. Absolutely. Uh, death valleys. Uh, anything. To tr to, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Storms. Well, you can't do that. Um, well, you, you you can do that, but it's individual. Like you know, you can't control the weather now. Not even in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. But I'm working on it. Well, no, you, you you do choose very very good airfields, very very good rates. I have to say, always interesting, the flight plans. Uh, Davo says you can get an Xbox in Australia, Xbox X. Ooh, thunder flies. I'm trying to get a screenshot of them close up. What is it? What is the new Xbox actually being called? They made a real marketing blunder there, and I can't believe these multi-million dollar companies. I ca it's a, I think it's an Xbox Series X and an Xbox Series S. Okay. But what do we have now? We've got the Xbox. What is it? It's 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 like S. X, S stands for shite. Yeah, nobody knows. It's confusing for everybody. The names of the Xbox. Uh, it's very very confusing. But I I can't get to Australia and back in time. It's going to cost me three thousand wow. dollars. It's going to be some expensive yeah. Xbox. <laughs> yeah. So so I'm just it's frustrating because I wanted to I wanted to I've given up on it now. But I wanted to get an Xbox and I'll do it. Because you may not have to buy a big expensive PC if you want to get into flight simming. You have got your Xbox, you got your joystick, that's all you need to start. Then you get a little chair, get your TV, get control columns. I can't get the control columns for the Xbox and all that kind of stuff. That would be compatible with it. I would like to, I'd like to have that, had that set up. You know, and to make it as inexpensive as possible. It's just an idea I had, you know. But, you know, it'll, it'll happen at some point. But it's great that, you know, currently these PCs and the cards. I was looking for 3090s yesterday yeah. on overclockers. They're asking now for like three and a half thousand euros. Yeah, but they don't and I was have 1600 them either. Pounds. Like, you know, that's the other problem. They what? They probably don't have them either. No, they don't. Because like of the shortages. I, I, was, I was looking uh, um, on... Um, like, I, I just need oh. uh, needed some other graphics card I recycled one of my old ones but uh, it's like um, I went to complete and some other places and, and and they just don't have any no but I have to tell you so I'm the 30 to a 20 AGTI it's working yeah. very well oh yeah it's, no. it's like, I mean and I'm streaming it I'm running I'm, I'm running on 30 frames a second with VSync on so I've limited it to 30 frames a second and it's running smooth as ice. And, you know, we watch movies at 24 frames a second. So this is 30 frames a second, folks. Now, I know it's only 1080 Ti, uh, 1080. It's not 4K because you can't do 4K in in, uh, in streaming. But in 4K as well, uh, sometimes it gets a bit choppy. You know, sometimes it's the thunderfly. Sometimes it gets a bit choppy and it frustrates me. You know, but it's now that we're over Iceland, it's not in the slightest bit choppy. You know, wh wh like for example, if I were in a city now, where's my airplane? I've gotten lost, folks. If I was in an airplane now, I just reset my view. If I, I know you know what I'm talking about, most of you. It's not the end of the world. But if I were to look, look down here, for example, see the way these trees now are perfectly smooth, right? If that was a city now built to break, that would be juttery. You know, kind of. Joshua, but that's perfectly smooth. And what I'm saying that I have to say, Orbex, there is blank patches here. There's weird kind of patchy areas there that that was the Kate was saying that earlier on. There is patches. Lisa was saying earlier on that it's a bit patchy. It is a bit patchy, but right there it looks a bit patchy. It's like weird patches, but it's smooth now. But if you're going to go to New York, it's going to get a little bit choppy but it's fine 2080 ti 2070 you know it's not nearly as bad as it used to be currently do you remember do you remember oh, yeah. the old uh flight sim 2006 and the 2002 every time a new one because i had it from the very beginning since Sub sublogic came out with the first flight sim microsoft bought it off them and every version you have to get a big new machine and you had to have loads of money of course you didn't and you'd have to upgrade your machine and it would be years before oh, I'm going overhead. It would be years before, you know. It's all it was always a problem. But now not so much. It's not as bad as it was, I think. That's my view. 
That's what I think. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I am coming in here. I'm just going to have a look at the chart. Oh, oh, I'm overhead. Uh, autopilot coming off. Uh, uh, see, that's what happens when you're busy chatting. Autopilot off. Uh, I'm going to come down pretty quick. And we're doing a touch and go here now, aren't we, Colonel Clank? Yeah. Uh, there, I see you. Don't need four flaps, so. There, I see you. So I'm going to slow down. 170 knots. 100 under 70. Uh, all the lights are on. It's really bothering me. I'm saddened by this. Uh, now, let's see. I want to slow down quickly. So, what I like to. Oh, it's only 100 knots. Great. Let's get those flaps down. Uh, I know you shouldn't lower them all at once, but I've no side tech. I do like the way the nose goes up because that's the way it really behaves. But Xbox is going to be great when it comes out because I hope that it translates. And like when I do videos, I'm sure it'll translate over for Xbox because I want to do lots of mini, uh, mini kind of tutorials and stuff like that, you know. So there we go now, we're coming down quite fast. I can't physically see the runway just yet. I'll cheat and look at the GPS, so it's right underneath us there somewhere. And I'm feeling it's just by the coast there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It's like, uh, um, it's like uh, when you're coming brilliant. in, it's like... Crashed. Uh, crashed. What crashed? Flight sim crashed. Why? Because it's... It hears me saying, ah, oh, everything's fine. And nothing goes right here, Colonel Crank. There's always a problem somewhere. I was oh, talking true. about, yeah, my 2080 Ti is fine. It's nice and smooth. And it's pointing stuff <laughs> out. And it's all ah. great. And it's crashed. Ah, uh, typical. And it was going so well. <laughs> Oh, that's such a shame. It's rare that that happens. Ah, uh, well. But not, fear not, folks, because I can hop right in. I can hop right back into where I was, which is great. The good news. Not exactly where I was, but I can hop straight back in. Uh, but look, it happens to us all. It happens to the best of us. What can one do? But anyway, the Xbox, yeah. So I think it'll translate greatly to the Xbox. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I would like to see it firsthand, however and review it, but no, no. I wrote a few cheeky emails, not cheeky. Uh, I wrote to uh, some of the companies involved. Where can I get one? Basically trying to push myself to the front of the queue so I could review it, you know. I don't know if that was a good idea, Colonel Clink or not, but it didn't work. <laughs> I want to review the Xbox, where can I buy one? I want to buy it. I don't want one. I want to pay for it. I want to review it on the channel. I want to show it in the chair. I want to have all the stuff set up. But it's a, a bit more difficult than that. But it'll happen. Uh, yeah, I'm just no, really eventually, eventually uh, they're coming around. But at the moment, everything is like, uh, um, you know, you, you have difficulties to get LED lights. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... You can get an Xbox for a for thousand pounds. This yeah, is the, the problem. It's the scalpers. There's no need for that now. The scalpers. They're called scalpers. They buy a ton of them and they keep it in a warehouse and they sell it at a thousand euros each. Or pounds in this case. Um, I saw them actually on... I was furious with Amazon. They were, they were, they were like, again, a thousand pounds pounds from private sellers uh, i thought amazon cracked down on that let's see xbox it wasn't was not even that it's like there was like loads of uh stuff happening in amazon while they were shipping them um people at the amazon warehouse uh, took the actual Xboxes actually out and sent like empty boxes. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. So someone was stealing what was inside the boxes. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't Amazon themselves. It was an employee. No, no, it was the employees there. Yeah. It was uh. like really, really nasty stuff happening there. Oh, I see. Uh, I've just got a link here from the future. Uh -huh. 649 here in what's called Shop Console. 
com. But the problem being, do you know, the problem I'm having is I ordered one from GameStop, okay? And they said, yeah, take a deposit, be here next week. And no, you're, we've got a queue, we've got to wait. So they don't know. So they just keep your money and, and they can say, you know, yeah, it's on the way. Do you know? So that's why I'm hesitant to buy them from a website. I'm kind of waiting to click them up in the store. Because I just I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, spawn here on Davo across settles depart. Hopefully I'll be a few thousand feet up uh, and land. So yeah, that's that's why Argus, yes, I do keep an eye on Argus in all fairness. Yes, I do. So I've been keeping an eye on Smith as well. Yes, do future, thank you. Yeah. So I've been keeping it because I want to call in and do you have it in your hands? Yeah. Because otherwise it's you're on you're in a queue. And that saddens me. So I had to get a refund off GameStop. I said, you know. Uh, give you a refund. You don't have it. Do you have it? No. They didn't have it. So give me my money back. Um, and it's terribly sad to walk into GameStop. And you see the two of them, you know, guy and a girl. It's crashed again, Colonel Clank. Now, what's Did going it? on? Yeah. Oh, it's something to do with something else. It's something to do with the airplanes. It's something to do with the... It's something to do with liveries isn't it well i i um like last week remember mine like started crashing straight away and i um and i got rid of the um community folder or like emptied out anyways and um it's like um when i went back it was actually like at least one of the airplanes once i updated it no problems hmm. it's yeah. like uh it's it's like i updated all the like uh, um all the airplanes which i had i don't know which one it was like i copied it back in i did all the updates yada yada, yada and uh, ever since no 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 problem Ace Fighter has followed in these desperate times. Thank you, Ace Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the channel where we uh, continuously load Microsoft Flight Simulator over and over again. That's all we do here. <laughs> yeah. We just load it when it crashes and we load it again. And in between loads, we talk about things. Like egg boxes. Egg box. Egg, egg, box. egg, egg boxes. Could be the Orbex Max. So if this happens again... I'll spawn a little bit further away and it happens again that I'll remove my community folder. Boo-hoo. And, uh, and then it should be fine. But that bothers me. We shouldn't have to do that. Should we? No. Okay. No, we shouldn't. We disable the autopilot because we're going to do our approach shortly. When we're yes, doing there's the another problem turn. there. Robbie, Robbie, uh, Robbie Rob says, uh, Robbie Rob 1875 says, I had a similar problem with Amazon and a honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant. I waited seven months and nothing. Uh, had to get a refund in the end uh, and got one from scan.co.uk. Oh, scan.co.uk has this. Now we have problems over here getting stuff from the UK. Yeah. Because they'll, they'll want more money and we don't know. We don't know what they'll charge us. It's it's here's a here's actually a good question. Like because we have to pay tax and duties now for stuff coming from the UK, right? Are they still supposed to charge us UK VAT? Well, I don't know. I've just stopped ordering from the UK. Yeah, well, because I don't know. I got I've got something small from Australia. Yeah. And they wanted a hundred and something euros. But was the contents of the box wasn't worth a hundred euros. So how did they figure that out? And I rang them up. It was FedEx. And they said, just pay it. <laughs> just pay it. And I was going, no. What's, where did you get that calculation from? You know? So, yeah, I mean, this is it. Do you pay that? I don't know. Uh, I yeah, just don't, I, like, you know, I, I just don't want a situation, and I'm sure nobody else does, uh, that you you get something, the parcel's there, but they go, right, pay me, more, pay me more money. Yeah, it's like, uh, and, and, and there's ridiculous charges for it, like, you know, 
uh, if you get something from UPS, that means if you get something from UPS in the first place, because they don't seem to know how to do shipping, um, it's like um, it's like they charge you like a loan for the privilege that they go and pay the duty on behalf of you, which you don't know because you don't know if you have to pay duty, and uh, um, they charge you twenty quid for that. Yeah. Cross your fingers, folks. Let's hope this doesn't crash. Yeah, uh, just order from mainland EU. I feel sorry for uh, English farmers because I was watching this. The whole thing, they all voted to, for Brexit and they're going, hang on, what are you doing? What, what you're getting, we have certain standards and Australia can come in and undercut them. And they're going, yeah. what are you doing? What? This We didn't vote for this. Uh, mm, community folder has to go. So uh, it's, it's, I don't know, politics. Yes, it crashed again, Kern Click. Oh. We will, as always, folks, we, we will fix it. We'll get through it. Okay. <laughs> have to stay up all night. Kern Click, we're going to do this. Oh, absolutely. Uh, because this is, this is gonna, almost. Uh, I'm going to sit here on the runway once I put the plane down and I wait here until you land at the plane properly. This is coming uh, like it's like a part of, you know, we have our beginnings, our intro, and then we have the engine failures and then we have the crazy man and then we have the in uh, landing somewhere and then we have this kind of stuff and then we have the crazy madness at the end. It's like a format. Uh, yeah, it's just just busy. Uh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, where's community? Oh, thank you. I'm going to. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh, no, I don't want to mess up the community folder. Yes, it is. Uh, that's going to take too long. I'll do it over here. I just don't want to give out any. No! Stop it! Uh, cut and paste is the only way. Because it's quicker. Now I'm going to Community 02. Just rename the folder new and you create a new folder, folder which is called Community. That is even quicker. Community 2. So I created an empty folder with Community 2. I'm going to cut. Flight simulator, community cut, please. Cut, not copy, cut. And paste into uh, the other folder I just created. And paste, and I hope, oh, yeah, that did it because it's on the same drive. And it's just changed the inode numbers or the equivalent. That's why it does it instantly. So now, I'm going to go into my community folder in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh no, I moved it. I didn't want to move it. Oh no, okay, that's fine. It's just empty now. I'm going to flood that and see what happens. Maybe it'll create a community folder. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Okay, great. Okay. Okay, it's loading. I would say, uh, I, what I did, I moved the whole, the whole folder out. Uh, Copperhead is coming in. Ah, uh, we are clear of the active, so here's it. Here's a clear approach. There we go. It's done. So, folks, yes, we have pro uh, always. It's always something. It's always something. Um, let's hope this works. Um, yeah, it is my first time using the mesh. Actually, um, I don't know why. I cry. It just seems when we're all bunched up at the airport there. Yeah. It just didn't like that for some reason. Oh. You know. It's just not on. Okay. Lisa has oh, oh. got an early start tomorrow and she says, just hope you get it sorted. Lisa, uh, have a good night and have a great work, a day at, or a week at work. Uh, I probably missed you, probably gone now. We're probably half asleep. Uh, okay, lad, let's see, we're running up to our two hours now and you guys want to go to sleep. But I'm hoping to have a, sec or a surprise stream during the week. I know I said that last week, but I was so busy with IKEA and other things I didn't get to do it. Um, 
but sh- you'll, you'll see it on Twitter. Uh, okay, that says, do you have the TGE Orbex mesh? Yes, I do. He said he didn't install it in his, and his is okay. Well, I don't have it now, because it's gone. Everything from the community folder is gone. So we're going to do this kind of click. So we've got this landing, and then the short hop yeah. to the final airport. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, Odin is on. Odin, good day. Odin. Good day to you, Odin. Odin 0868. Oh. It's all on as well. The feature says, I'm running a business and I have a nightmare buying f- uh, from the UK. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult all over the place for the UK at the minute. Selling no. to the UK has become uh, invaluable too. Yeah, I got an early start tomorrow. I thought I was at least going home. I'll go to bed. Uh, Gripperson, I can says, Gripperson, mine has crashed three times two exactly at the same time as yours mm, so that may be the mesh why do they always have these new things and then they cause crashes folks you know i i i don't know i didn't have any problems yeah because you've got a mesh as well anyway i'm i'm, I'm waiting here at the final uh-huh. destination and uh, uh i'm waiting for see the, is the airport uh bravo india romeo kilo uh the no, final right, airport is no no the uh, one where you're at now uh, Bravo I can't see India. anybody yet. Well, the airport I'm at is Bravo, Bravo India, India Sierra. The airport where you uh, uh, crashed out was uh, Bravo India Alpha Echo. No, you're all waiting for me at which airport? Well, uh, I'm at India, India Sierra. Is that what you're all waiting for me? Because I just can't see you haven't spawned in yet. Oh, no. Is that everybody? There we go. There's everybody there. I can see now. It takes a, I was in the <clears throat> now. Okay, you're all waiting there, and so I'm going to come in for an approach, set as arrival, and let's hope we. You're at the destination there now. Of course, I'm Paddy last. Uh, Oisk says he has heaps of add-ons, and that might cause. I know, but you want to keep your add-ons. So, I don't have to, you know. So, uh, Bravo, Bravo, India, India Sierra is the final desti- destination. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I just so. I just because I couldn't see where you're all spawned in there. I, just oh, okay. the I was in the wrong place in the map, which is shocking. And I crashed again. You're having a laugh. No. 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 Okay. Try not to go to Bravo India Alpha Echo. Just go straight to Bravo India India Sierra and see if that crashes as well yeah yeah I think I'll do that maybe it just decided you are not worthy to go no, to, worthy to that go there. dangerous airfield okay let's see he also cleared his community folder and still crashed at the same airport may is it could it be overloaded I don't know do you know I don't know uh, how many people online can you have? We didn't count them yet. We usually count how many people we have. Uh, I didn't do that yet. But, yeah, I, I'll spawn a little bit far away from the airport and drive in. Do you know? I'll drive in. Uh, let me just uh, get this thing down here. Uh, I just want to pop off the old camera there for a second. So yes, uh, here we go again, folks. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'll be here all night. Do you know that? I'll be here all night, Colonel Clink, until I get this right. It's like, it's like you have to, you have to bring this thing to uh, India, India, Sierra. Like you know, so there's no, there's no two ways about it. Like you know, India, India, Sierra coming up. Bravo, India, India, Sierra. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, I seem to die a death lately in my streams. Just a slow death towards the end. That's always trying to get into that final airport. It's disgraceful. I'm 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 just sitting here with Arox and Copperhead having a cup of tea and uh, you know waiting until you eventually arrive. Do you have a nice mug? Yeah, I have a nice mug. It's a nice... like it's the best tea I've ever had out of that mug. 
Uh, I'd like to get a box of those mugs at some point and, and start giving them out. But I'm going to have to do some work this year with the old stuff and things. Any new aircraft coming out? Uh, what's the next big one coming out? It's like uh, Just Flight is going to release the uh, PA-28-161 uh, Arrow 2. Uh, no, not Arrow 2. Um, yeah, I've, uh, th that's what we see an awful lot of the time, Kern Clink, in yeah. the airfield. Yeah. That these are very common. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's any word on a date. Uh, 7th July. That soon? I think, the, yeah, I, I got the, I got the yeah. mail, I, I, like, it was early July anyway, like, don't don't hold me for the 7th, like, you know, mm. but uh, uh, in and around there. So next mm. week, actually, end of next week, I suppose. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to wait for everyone to spawn here. Uh, we are going to. Uh, oh, I'll just type it in here. Bravo, Indy, Indy, Sierra. Okay, so I'm just going to find it where it is. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'll spawn a little bit away from it. No, 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 I don't have to do that to the ages. Uh, I'll start an approach. I have a feeling it's going to crash again. Bravo, India, India, Sierra, it is. Okay, let's cross our fingers, folks. And it must be. It would be nice if it did say, you know, why it's crashing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's like it would, it would actually very, very nice, like, you know, especially if something is in the folder. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Like, you know, I tried to load X and I couldn't and I crashed. Swill says, good, a good morning or good afternoon, Swill. Thank you for that. Swill 2021 says, set its departure. And that's what I'm going to do the next time. Oh. Uh, it's a disgrace. Did it crash again? Uh, it did. Uh -huh. uh, Robbie's, uh, Robbie Rob uh, 1875 says, Scripper Sim, have a fantastic week. And thank you for a brilliant evening. Back to Golf uh, Go uh, Echo Golf Hotel Hotel in the morning to, for work. Take care and God bless. Robbie, have a great, have a great week. Looks like you're working in the airport there. Uh, you know, thanks a million. I know everyone's going to bed. I, I get that. We kind of trail off in the end, really, in the streams, don't we, Colonel Click? We trail yeah. off. You know, it's it's not by our choice or my choice. Uh, but we'll get it working. What was the terrible time? I had problems with all sorts of stuff. I don't think I'm the only one. It's like, um, it oh, the camera's gone. <laughs> the camera is looking at the camera. <laughs> it's I'm back, I'm back. There we go. It's uh, like, uh, everybody had a fun time, but you and my, like, uh, uh, um, like every so often, like it just kept crashing. Like, don't know why. Uh, purple perpetually make us Minecraft. Anyone actually perpetually mega. Minecraft's brilliant. Uh, I remember a friend of mine and his other friend that are in their 50s and said, this game's great, you have to play it. I said, don't be silly. It's for children. Oh, it was great. It was so relaxing. Not a bad game, Minecraft, currently, I think. No, no, uh, I've, never, I've never played it. I never had any interest to play it either, like, uh, for some reason. So it says, check your task manager. And Copper Hat is also, thanks for another fun flight, Cripper. See you next time, heading off to supper. Nice one. Copper Hat, thanks for joining us. We'll be back again, usual time Sunday, and uh, I'm going to have more streams during the week once I get my schedule, which will happen. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. It's going to be doubling down. Uh, so hopefully now, Colonel Clink, what's our plan? Oh, uh, set it as departure. Two instances. So deep, deep future is oh, doing his landing now. Like, you know, it's like nobody's watching him. There's two instances running. Usually you get an error. It keeps doing that to everybody. See, it's just two here. Ooh, like very well done, Swill. I'm going to end you. Yeah, 
I, that there you go. There's two instances of running. Swill may have saved the day. Swill may have saved the day. And do you know what I'm going to do, Swill? When I get, I'm not going to do this again. Uh, when someone saves the day, you know the way Colonel Clink, someone on on the on the stream yeah. always saves the day. Uh, I'm going to get a box of mugs of Doreen, your one that comes down to the airfield. She gets lots of things like that. Get them made up and designed in a big box, and send them off to people who save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that once. I've done that once or twice, but uh, swill. I'll take a note of that because I need to get all that stuff organised. Swill, remind me when swill. I say I have lots of mugs. I'll send you one. I can't do it now because it takes it takes about four weeks, and they're really expensive to get shipped over and shipped back out again. It's just crazy. It takes a, how long have you guys been waiting for a kernel those mugs? I mean, I gave yours by hand, but it took two months. Hold on. Took about two months. So Swill may be the viewer of the day. Uh, I, do you know what? It's funny. I kind of saw that and I went, oh. why is there two instances running? Uh, Aerox has to go to bed. <laughs> I know everybody has to go to bed at this time. Thank you for the fun. Fun flight gripper. Last week before my vacation. See you uh, at the end of July. Take care. I uh, will be here, Erox. Thank you very much. Uh, Matt Sibley. Cheers, Grip. Always fun flying with you. And Colonel Clink. See you next week. And I'll see you guys next week as well. Thanks for watching and, and flying with us. Uh, Swill says, hopes it works now. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I could be up. I think there was one night I was up for I extended the stream for like another two hours. <laughs> this kind of thing happened. And then I fixed it and I said, I'm going to do another flight. And Colonel Clink had to go to bed because he had to work on Monday. Yeah. We're going to do this. And I think I'm going to make it exciting. I think we're going to have crazy weather on. Uh, if this works, I think I think it's only fair to have a little bit of a a crazy madness end to the, to the stream. So Johnny, Johnny F is doing another approach in his um, MB329. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put some wind to John. It's going to be a storm. I go in the ILS. Uh, yeah, I do an approach to the ILS. It doesn't have an ILS. Bugger. <laughs> do we got to do that one day? You know, I think we might do that one day. I'll do a street. This is what I leave for during the week. Do you know? I, I, I think it has an RNF, but it doesn't have an ILS. RNF doesn't work. Or has it been fixed? I don't know. It doesn't see. Every time I try or off, it's like I find out, nah, it's not ready yet. Uh, that's, I've crossed my fingers twice already, so I'm, I'm going to do this now. I'm not going to cross any fingers. Okay. The moment has come. By the way, if anyone is still watching and you want to fly along with this, you can send me friend request. I always accept them now. Uh, there's no friend request there, so let's just go in here. I'm just sitting here. I know, and you're getting very impatient. I'm I'm just sitting here and see uh, how you do uh, your your approach and landing. Like you know, there's no pressure. There's no pressure at all. Uh, now set his departure first. Someone said as well, so we're gonna do that also. Delete departure. Oh, I have already set his departure. Okay, and then I can I can throw it up into the air with the slew button, which is great. Great idea again by Microsoft or Sobo and Microsoft. Um, I wonder if this ever happened in the Microsoft it's done it again Colonel Clink well it just it crashed again oh god it crashed again Skype why is there seven Skypes why is there seven okay um do you know what someone said to me one day? Change it from one server to another. I'll be here till 12. I'll be here till 4 o'clock in the morning, Benny. Benny says, uh, we'll be here till 12 o'clock. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm not, I, I, we have to, it has to, we have to end the show, Colonel Craig. It has to end properly with a landing. Yeah. And that's, we'll be here all night. So welcome to the uh, 
how to fix Microsoft Flight Simulator channel. Okay, let's say he's the same. Okay, he's having the problem, the same problem. He says he uninstalled the mesh, he set it as departure, and it crashed again. So I'm not the only one having this issue. I was kind of thinking in the back of my mind, maybe it's because I'm streaming as well. No, it's not. It would get really slow. I could just a little thing here to tell you if you're losing frames per second. Uh, let me show you here. So this guy here tells you, you know, it goes red and you get errors and stuff. Uh, and I'm running, I'm running it actually at 30 frames a second. I actually found this while we're waiting. I don't know if it helps. Uh, if you remember in some of my streams, it got choppy according to what screen, because I have two screens, according to what screen I had the mouse on. So what I did was I actually turned on VSync and I run the sim at 30 frames a second. Uh, and it seems to run a lot smoother. Hmm. Yeah. Whereas before, speaking, uh, VSync was a no-no, but they have so many, they've had so many updates since so it changes so i have the sim running at 30 frames a second uh vsync is on which is 30 frames isn't it uh and everything's at 30 frames a second uh, and that seems to run it a bit smoother also that other time i had terrible problems was my picture here was running at 4k <laughs> at 60 frames a second and that was causing problems so there you go it's all very tactical well, that's in the past now. We live and learn. Disable crash. Oh, okay. Oh, cash crash. Cash. The feature says administrative tools, event viewer might tell you what's going on. Ooh, administrative tools. Is this in the menu system? In Microsoft Flight Simulator? Maybe I change the aircraft as well. Change everything. Oh no. Will I have to cut this out? This is uh so okay. Let's disable the stir, cash. Stir dice. No, I'm I'm going to disable some stuff now. Uh no that's not where I wanna go. I wanna go to I wanna get rid of my cash. Uh gone blank here now. General options data i said uh, when you escape and options cash the, is now off the... i'm switching rolling cache off uh that might be the issue uh, this is might be something new here to feature administrative tools uh event viewer event viewer What's in my profile, is it? No. Where is administrative tools? Uh, that is in um, Windows. Oh. Okay, that's... I can't, I just need to get around this somehow. I can't be fiddling around with i and i files and stuff so change the aircraft uh we change it to something a bit more challenging uh da, 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 prop, prop, prop will do uh we'll change it to mm, uh, we'll put it in the old oh seeing as current take was mentioning the Coronado, we'll put it at that on because that's quite challenging to land uh there we go uh and hopefully if you administer to the event viewer, it might tell you what's going on. Okay, let's have a look at the other screen. No, I can't. Let's look at the event viewer here. All oh, right, this is something I have to be honest, I haven't gone into. Uh, I'm kind of, oh, this is all new now to me in Windows. Okay, I don't know if I can. I can spend the time on that, but we're going to do a landing. If it's not here, it's going to be somewhere else. It may be, look how many people are with us. Oh, there's quite a few. There's quite a, I wonder is it bugging out because of that? Uh, oh, I said one thing, right? Switching to 
just very briefly to from the North European server, right? And then back in again. It's a very busy little airfield. Maybe that's why, folks. But everybody else is in there and set his departure. Did you delete the cache? I didn't delete it. Uh, maybe delete it. Okay, I'm going to delete the cache. Uh, okay, let's do that then. I just disabled it. Cache, 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 cache. Delete the running cache. It's been deleted. Better safe than sorry. Well, that's gone already. Just like that. Okay, that was quick. Okay, fine. Find safe. Go back. Go back. Uh, we're still there. Okay, fly. Um, mm, I'm just going to keep trying. If this breaks again, we're going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'll have to land somewhere else, Karen Clink, if this keeps going on. Ah, I want to go to bed as well. <laughs> it's just unacceptable. It's just like landing somewhere else. That is just. That's just. Mi what's what's? I what's need a PC story? reboot. Johnny F seventy three says. Yeah. Okay. You see, I don't want to end the stream either. It's more. Of, it's a challenge now because the stream. I've only got. Might handle night, folks. Let's do it. Uh, we're here all night, folks. Let's do it. Says D feature. Keep going. Shouldn't have to reboot the PC. I know it'll probably work. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm going to try and load up on a different server. Right? On a different airport in the world. And then we come back out. And then we'll try it. Akai says, shut down and start up again, last resort. Oh, Akai lad, let me know how you get on with the restart. You know? Kern Clink, you have to get up for work in the morning. I don't want to keep you here. Oh, no, it's like I still have half an hour. Okay. Um, it's like, yes. if you can't do it in half an hour, like, you know, we have to put it down as an epic fail. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. You go to bed. I will stay up all night fixing it. <laughs> Even if I have to reboot the machine and come back to the stream, I'm going to do it. That's, I think if it fails again, I think that's what we'll do. I actually, um, as well, I nuked the machine every couple of years, every year maybe. I knew, I'll, I'll flatten the machine, reformat the disk, rebuild the operating system and everything else is off the operating system. Uh, the, the streams on a different disk or everything to do and the only thing that's on this PC on the C drive is flights uh, is, sorry it's the operating system that's it so everything else is somewhere else on a different drive so it's just the simulator and the operating system uh, and it is it is worth it is worth a while it's it is worth your while to you know um, do that every now and again isn't it just to clean it up so I think to save time the lads are saying look reboot uh, Jonah, thank Killeen 911 says that as well. So I think if this doesn't work this time, I'll reboot. Do you know? And I'll pop in the stream and just for one, you know, quick flight. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah, bad things have happened again this week, I think. Yeah. But I was, I was saying before a crash the last time, I was going to say, I wonder, does this happen to Microsoft Community, the official Microsoft Community channel? I've no idea. I'm going to change in North Europe to, we'll say, West Europe. It does it change it? Okay, I don't know. I'm going to take off in, I'm going to go to, uh, we'll say, Wales, set his departure, and fly, fly, fly. All the way to Iceland. I'm just going to load up somewhere else. I'm in Wales now. 
and we'll see and if that doesn't work we're going to do a reboot and I'll be back in two minutes and I gotta do it it's gonna happen I, I, I wouldn't mind but I had this up running I got a like an hour before I spoke to you Karen Clink I had it all yeah. up and running and okay everything's fine sound uh, was good you know everything was fine <laughs> up to the point when we came to land yeah Uh, D feature says I have a funny land a funny video of some funny landings from Davo uh, to keep us entertained Yeah, it would be nice if I, I could switch over See this is working now folks in Wales, right? Happy days. Yeah, so it's not my build Right, so we've established current clink uh -huh. That it's not the sim as as in you know everything's gone it's just that one airfield that's bizarre uh it's like i'm banned so we i i got in the uh coronado uh waco in wales yeah uh, on a different server now, just curiously because i have to tell you folks that i'm looking at iceland now and there is there's davo there uh, and there's all the boys there. I think there's the feature. There's Johnny, uh, but I'm on a different server. Don't know. Am I there? Uh, it's it's. I could no. I didn't look. I see now. But there there. It's like well, I'm on a West West European server now, folks. So. But you're. All, there's a bug somewhere with that on the servers. Okay, I'm going to reboot. I was going to reboot. I did uh, crash again. Yeah, crashed again. Okay. Uh, crashed again. Uh, let's see if raining in Wales. Uh, if Davo come back. You can see friends here. Okay. Okay, I get that. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna reboot. So folks, right? Uh, for those of you who are not gonna come back, sorry, the stream ended with a bit of a pain in the neck. But uh, for those of you who want to go to bed and have had enough, uh, that's I'm um, I'll see you next week. Thanks very much to Karen Clink. But I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna reboot the machine. I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna finish off with a landing, in in that airport. I'm not gonna give up until it's done. So the reboot is going to happen. Uh, I removed all the scenery flights in. You know, I, I removed the community folder. So I'm going to reboot the machine. If in doubt, switch it out. So Colonel Clink, I'll be back in two minutes. Okie dokie. And everyone just, else. Just give me a buzz. I shall. Everyone else, I'll see you next Sunday, 9 o'clock, uh, 2100 hours Irish time. Uh, and we'll see you then. So f till then, I'll end the stream. And I'll see the rest of you what to watch. See if I can complete this <laughs> mission that I'm on. I'll probably be up to four o'clock in the morning. I'll see you uh, next Sunday at nine o'clock Irish time. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>